legs up and action. Wait, I'm not ready. <laughs> okay, wait. And take two, rolling, and action. Hi. <laughs> That's not the line. Hold on. Take three, crystal on set, and action. Okay. Hi, and welcome to, what is that camera doing? <laughs> what the heck is going on up over here? Whoa, wait. who's that? That's Roxy's new move. Oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> oh, thanks, Afriel. I feel windblown and not ready for this at all. Um, Today was like Dan runs all the errands day and I needed ingredients, but Blake needed a haircut and that took forever because he went to a real barber that did an amazing job. Hopefully he comes out later and you guys can see he's not a Wookiee anymore. Don't do it. Um, and then Blake had to go to school and Dan didn't have... Wait, Dan has a car, but it was in the one parking space he didn't want to lose, so he didn't want to leave. So after work, I had to go to the store, and it was Madhouse, and then I got behind the guy who was like, how much does it cost? And he was taking forever. Are you amused? Oh my something? god, it was killing me. I was so done with this life. Um, but I'm here, and I got the ingredients. Woo! I had to get graham cracker crumbs, because I forgot to tell Dan. How many times did you go to the store this week, Dan? You came home Tuesday night. How many times have you gone to the store this all week? <laughs> all, all of all, all the stores, of them. all the times. All of them. So many stores. Uh, Chris, it might be that kind of night. As you might hear like a little bit of outside noise right now because we got the doors open because it's yeah, warm. Yeah, it is. Uh, sixty six degrees. It's warm. Uh, but like a warm sixty six, not like we're cooling down to sixty six. Not it's been cold all day. So, oh April, I was I was being facetious. No, make your life what you want your life to be. But like try to try to let go of the stress. Let it go. Let it go. That's all I know of that song. I know there's more words. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. It was just, ugh, this whole week has been go, go, go. But we are here and we are making more copycat crumble cookies because I can't get enough. And they're 45 minutes away and they cost way too much. And I'd rather have donuts from right up the street. So I'm just going to make my own damn cookies. Uh, it's like January here, freezing and snow everywhere. Oh, it's like summer here this week. But don't worry, it's going to be like 59 on Monday again. We're, we're getting right back to it. Oh, Hannah already consumed her sugar. How long ago did this start? <laughs> it hasn't started. Oh, uh, Rat Rob Race, Racing is supposed to be making a long night, too. I saw rat, that. Rat, rat Rob Railroad, sorry. Rat, 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 He said we could just call him Rat Rod, but I don't know if that makes it any easier. <laughs> I have a hard time with R's. Like, one R is fine. I've got R's in both my names. We're good. You put too many R's and I just start getting all rrr, 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 rrr. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh, Queen Kush. Oh, so stressed you had a heart attack. Friend, you need to, to take it down a notch. Let it go. I know it's easier said than done, but. You look so yeah. tiny today on the screen. I have you, you make me who I am on camera. I have you at like a weird angle today. Yeah, you gave me a MySpace angle. Do I look good? <laughs> Do I, I look know. thinner? I don't know. When I went to your MySpace page, half the items wouldn't load on the screen. Oh, my MySpace was so fun. Remember when you could, like, I had stars that would pop up and you could play your favorite song and then you could say, like, here's my favorite movies. Do you remember what my favorite movies were? No, because I'd wait for five minutes for the, all, the, <laughs> all the JavaScripts to load up and my, all the Flash players to load so up. My favorite movies on MySpace said... Nothing that Brad recommends because he watches terrible movies. <laughs> Do you know somebody came to the convention and is like, I found you on MySpace, and that's where they found Jess and the dogs. Oh, like that far back? I was MySpace. like, wait, is MySpace still around? Uh, I mean, it kind of is a little bit, but like, in, like from like... I remember it went MySpace. to like music, like it focused that's on That's what it was music. supposed to be when it started, I right, think. Right, but then like, we masses took it over, and yeah. <laughs> Crystal already calling it that this is a fun night. Oh yeah, it's... I'm a little delirious. If we could get to the bacon, because I think it's got to sit in the oven for a minute, right? Like, don't we have, like, a big gap in the middle? You don't worry about me. We are going to open some things later. We do have uh, gifts that Dan came home from Virginia with, so thank you. Uh, ra 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 <laughs> is ready to bake. Only making a half batch. I don't blame you. Um, if you've been here for a crumble cookie recipe before, or if you've had crumble cookies, they're, like, this big. Um, you can make them smaller, but you might have to adjust your bake time because they're going to cook faster. Um, so yeah, they're like this big, and I think it only makes 12 of them. But most recipes, if you are a regular baker, you know most recipes will take for cookies about two cups of flour. Um, this is three and three quarter cups. So what you're really making is a normal batch, and we're going to make a gluttonous batch. But it's okay, I will take some to work and share. Um, we'll be good. Uh, Chris thought MySpace was bad. I was not happy when I started one. Aw. Um, nothing, nothing really good ever came from MySpace. Let's be real. Holy bush. Huh? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I know what you <laughs> said. 
Uh, Gaming Ham, we have missed you. I've been wondering where you were. Uh, sorry, not been about Crystal and Dan. I've had a lot on Family Wise. The doctors are concerned about a lump in my mom's mouth and lip. Oh, I'm sorry, friend. I hope everything turns out well. That's stressful stuff. You you should not let it go. Try try to not stress too much, but th that's stress worthy. I get it. Uh, so soup bowl instead of drinking glass trip? Maybe. We'll see. I might just pour it right in my mouth. We'll see. I do have to focus a little bit because this is a recipe I've never made before and I gotta pay attention. Today is Spotted Leaf's sixth birthday and the 24th is Smokey's sixth birthday. Well, happy birthday to them both. Friend, I saw you posted a link to your uh, Amazon wish list and then I couldn't go back and find it. Could you like DM me, that, hmm. please? I was, watching... I was gonna try to surprise you, but I couldn't, I couldn't find your list. I was watching your live stream today. I like Don's hair. I don't know, whatever Don's doing to his hair. Is, it, is it working for him? I'm about it, yeah, I like it. Uh, uh, Melanie says, MySpace and LimeWire. Oh, LimeWire. And Kazaa. LimeWire. LimeWire and Kazaa were my jam back in the day. Do you want to see my, my three CD books of burned discs? Because yeah, just... you know I got them. Some of the songs are in the wrong order, like later in life. So I collect vinyl records but not CDs so much. So I would download the music on CDs, but then I'd get them on vinyl and be like, wait, that's not that song. Cause it would download just whatever it felt like downloading. Uh, Wilton says he's not doing anything. He doesn't even brush it. Well, it's working for him apparently. Dude, I drove Mike Blake to a real barbershop today and the Encino man montaged him into like freshness. <laughs> it's great. I can't wait for you guys to see his haircut. Uh, Kevin killed a computer with Lime. Yeah, I believe it. Um, my brother was very adept and still is with computers and would save the day when, when this stuff would go down wrong. Uh, Queen Kush says, Pirate Bay, my sail in the high seas I, to watch all the movies. <laughs> I, uh, I parked, I have parked my, my pirate ship over the last almost yeah, we have, seven, eight years we now. We have the high seas No, I haven't. I've been paying my way. I've been paying the iron price. <laughs> um, Look, we got enough for free for so many years. But like, it's, my, it's just my iron racing buddy sailing the seven seas still, and I'm like, that's still a thing? That port hasn't been shut yet? <laughs> but no, I have retired from living the life of scurvy, which, OMG. <laughs> OMG. Mm. Shannon says they were the ones who found Jess on MySpace. Come on, you didn't even remember it was Shannon? Oh, Dan. Dude, like, Dan. everybody's a Shannon. They're all Shannons. Like, they're all Shannons. What does that mean? Like, like how they're all Blakes? Like, like everybody everybody's, everybody's generation everybody's looks like Blake? super nice, and everybody's got, like, snacky cakes and Hot Wheels, and everybody, <laughs> like, you always You always liken people to Cyber Husky. Then, like, like, oh, they're like they're a Cyber Husky, cy like, yeah, really nice and wholesome. They're all Cyber Huskies. Do you, yeah, you yes. guys all are just so good to me. <laughs> So did, did everybody's a Shannon. His, his girlfriend told him, oh my god, I saw somebody that looked just like you, but it wasn't you. And I said, oh, that was another Blake. The first time? Like, I see him daily. I see <laughs> My Blake's favorite daily. was Ginger Blake. Do you remember Ginger Blake? Ginger Blake. Did I show you guys Ginger Blake? Ginger Blake's my favorite, not Blake. <laughs> on my YouTube dashboard, there's a Blake on there, like, 10 tips that you can help, you know, increase your audience. Yeah. Yes. But we do, Shannon. I did bring the stuff back from you, and I did bring the stuff back um, from Melissa, and I did bring, I have Ashy's package here. And then I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody. Marco says, no more vacations, people. Marco, bad news. Dan's leaving Wednesday. <laughs> Do you know, I, I'm, don't uh, let me forget to get my passport. Us? Hi, Marco. Oh, yeah, we got to find that. Like, before Tuesday. It's, huh? it should, yeah, I'll go. It should it's be It's either in, in the safe or you stashed it somewhere no, where, my, who knows. It's in my yellow bag. Uh, Husband and Monica has been baking all day for the bake sale tomorrow. Still at it tonight, so I am baking along. We'll post pics later. Yes, please. I'm excited to see what you're making. Uh, do you have to soften butter for this? Yes, you do. Um, which I had to educate Dan today that when I say I need three sticks of butter, it's fine to take out four, but you have to take them out of the box. Otherwise they just hold the cold in the box and keep each other cold. So we're waiting for it to soften. Um, if you need to hurry up and soften, if you check the Getting Baker Crystal Pinterest page, there are some baking tips on there that are quite helpful. And I think it's on there. If not, I posted it on the Facebook page. But if you take a glass of water and hopefully you have a microwave, um, and use it for only things like microwaving water to soften your butter. Um, a glass glass, microwave your glass of water, dump the water out, like microwave it till it's hot. Dump the water out, take your stick of butter, put your hot glass over your butter, it will soften your butter. It will get a little bit mushy on the outside, but it'll soften it faster than uh, pretty much anything else. Uh, oven now or oven later? At some point. <laughs> Look, what are we doing? Yeah, don't use your microwave for meatloaf, you know. Uh, Chris, the remember chat before the stream started. Let me see if it'll let me scroll up high enough because I don't see it on the top there. There we go. Thank you, Chris. 
Thank you. You know we love you. And I was thinking this morning, like, man, I feel like I haven't hung out with my friends lately. Like, I want to know what Chris is up to. And, like, I, you haven't been here for the lives and stuff, like, during the day. Like, you're at work. And I moderate them, but I'm at work, so I don't pay too much attention. But Amanda's there often, but you're not. And, and I miss you, and I hope Aww. you're doing well. Uh, OMG, it's Friday night. Let's get baked. And also, pretty cool that this thing still works. We miss you, friends. Aw, I miss Yay. you. Yay. Okay, back to the bottom. Sorry for anybody else who I missed. Uh, ra 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 <laughs> says, package inbound Tuesday or Wednesday. Do not wait to open. Thank you. Good, because Dan's leaving for a whole week after uh, that. So. Yeah, I'll, I'm leaving, like, Wednesday morning. I have the post office key, though, so if you remind me... Okay. I can check okay. it. I won't remember. Uh, Gaming Hand uses his armpits to soften the butter if needed. <laughs> Let me try it. I think that will work. Dang, what's up, butter pits? <laughs> that was not my nickname in high school. No, she was like, man, she's got some nice <laughs> butter pits. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, Marco says Union 13 and Lift Overcrack is playing tonight at Transplants. I do not know what those are. The mouse is being difficult, man. It yeah. works It works on me. <laughs> yeah, well, I am aware you're not supposed to cook raw meat in the microwave, but here we are. Growing up eating uh, raw meat cooked in the microwave. Have you tried chicken parm in the microwave? <laughs> don't. Please don't. Uh, Nicholas is here. Hello, friend. Oh, uh, what's up, dude? Hi, Nick. Um, sent us a super, super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, wishing you safe thanks, travels. Nick. Oh, thanks, Hi, dude. Nick. Can you like this thing? I know, because the mouse is not working. I, uh, I don't think I get to see you in Toronto, huh? I don't get to see you to like, nobody. But thank you so much for the support. It does, it does mean yeah, a lot. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Afriel thanking us for the last. Thank you for being here and giving me excuse, because I was just going to mope on the couch if we weren't doing a show. Well, that was a fetal position for you over there. Look, last weekend... You have a Mario game to play. Like, how can you fetal when, like, the well, princess here, is in another Here's castle? the thing. Last weekend, I thought Dan's leaving, and remember when you left the first time, I was super productive. I painted the whole bedroom ceiling. Four coats of paint on the bedroom ceiling. Super productive. Yeah. And it's not just like, oh, I'm going to go in there and paint. Like, there's a whole thing. Do you know that I... Did I tell you that I took saran wrap and covered the fan blades? Like, I wrapped each fan blade in saran wrap because but, I knew it was going to splatter everywhere. But you didn't cover the stuff on my desk. It's got. I did! I told you! On, on your nightstand, I told you um, I covered everything with plastic and then I had to step on the bed and it pulled it off and. And no, I didn't. I did not see your foil fan butter pits. Saran wrap. Saran, saran wrap. wrap. No, you didn't take any pictures for that. So I was super How productive. Yeah. And then this past weekend, you guys know. Um, I, sh I should mention it. Um, we were here Wednesday, but I know some of you guys weren't here. Um, we did lose Kitty. She had a, a, oh, yeah. a, like a tumor or something under her tongue. Maybe people don't know the whole story. Because like, I noticed it's fragmented. Because you only posted on social media, but you never posted anything and I, on I YouTube, I didn't right? talk about it ahead of time. We didn't talk about it on YouTube. Um, to be honest, it was really stressful. Like I knew from the moment it was discovered it was not going to end well. Um, before Dan left for the first trip of the month, she was like being weird. Like just with her mouth and it, it was not a normal behavior so he, he like said hey keep an eye on it see what's going on right um and she wasn't eating as much as she usually eats so i made her an appointment for the soonest i could which was the monday of that trip you left on like wednesday or thursday and i called friday made an appointment um got her in on monday and she's not the kind of cat if you guys know anything about that cat she was the sketchiest cat ever she was not the kind of cat where i could just open her mouth for right. some reason when you took her to the vet she was just like oh what are we yeah, doing weird how please the cats... put the thermometer in me i'm fine i won't even twitch but we haven't had any cats run away at the vet like they just stay there stripers did did stripers oh yeah yes stripers <laughs> popped off the counter and went and sat in the corner and was like i'm out i'm out yeah, of... i'm done being I'm here done, i'm done being um here. so yeah I, I took her to the vet and they you know opened her mouth i'm like oh yeah look she's got like a big mass under her tongue or something and like I instantly lost it like I was bawling in there and the vet's like it's okay like we're gonna think positive and we'll schedule a surgery and the soonest they could do the surgery was the following Tuesday and I I literally like begged everybody do you have anything sooner can you put me on a list if they open up for anything we talked about should we go to a different vet no because they're gonna have to like you know get her background and everything so okay we'll wait for Tuesday um over that week she got worse and like wasn't eating much and um I was having to like Thank you to, I think it was Rat Rod Railroad and Brittany who sent the, the tubes yeah, of like, food. Yeah, we had lots of tubes. She s completely survived on those tubes and nothing else. Like, she, she couldn't take her tongue out of her mouth. So she couldn't drink and she couldn't eat. So I would have to put the food, the tubes on my finger and she would, like, eat it like that because her tongue wouldn't come out. Um, and then she got to the point where I was, like, squirting the, like, broth and water into her mouth. So we got her to the vet. They put her under... 
they they gave her a bunch of fluids first because she she lost a whole pound over that week, um, from seven pounds down to six. Yeah, it was. And a, it yeah, was it, not it was not good. Um, so and I, I knew it wasn't gonna be good, but you hope for the best. Um, they they put her under to do the surgery, and and she was gonna have to have some teeth pulled and stuff. She had some some stuff going on in there, um, and they called me like way too early. Like they said to expect a call around like four o'clock, and they called it like eleven, and uh, they said that the. It wasn't just the mass under her tongue. It, there was masses all down her throat. And the vet said, like, I don't feel comfortable removing them. It's attached to blood supply. If I take it out, like, we're going to lose her anyway. And again, I lost it. Um, and I asked, like, what are our options? And he said, well, you can take her home and, you know, we can we can do a biopsy of it. You can take her home. We, you can set up an appointment with an oncologist. And I'm like, she's not eating. Like, I'm going to watch her wither away at home. There's nothing. I, I can't wait for anything else. Um, so, yeah, we had to make the hard decision. And, and she crossed the Rainbow Bridge. But it was the right thing to do for her. And um, Yeah, that was pretty yeah. quick, too. She just turned 10. Like, it was no, 10 and a half. 10 and a half? She, she, she was a half. summer kitty. We okay. found, yeah, so yeah. probably 11, maybe, almost probably close to 11 but yeah like uh, up until then she was completely healthy and everything was fine it was really sudden and um it definitely like started in the the throat and moved up to her mouth because she had no symptoms of anything she was completely normal up until that week so it's kind of crappy yeah. uh, were you with her no they asked me because they already had her completely under um and she was so scared and and everything that last like, was so hard to feed or get her water uh, or and she anything, was so stressed so, out i had to scrub yeah. her every time and like shove stuff in her mouth and it, you know it was so stressful for her. And they asked me, like, do you want us to... Um, they said they wouldn't wake her up, but they could, like, wrap her in a blanket and I could come say goodbye before they actually put her down. And I'm like, no, just do the right thing and, like, let her go. Like, But I did go in and, and uh, uh, got her little paw prints. They, okay. they gave me some paw prints of her, her little feet. So, and... Uh, well, there's your uh, trauma for the night, Yeah, guys. sorry. Uh, like, people are going to ask, so it just needs to be had, out there for everybody. I had to go back the next morning with that stupid same cage. I hate that cage. Oh, they asked me, I so... I hate the death cage, and I had I, to take stripers back to the <laughs> same dang doctor the next so morning I at, had like, to go eight. back. I ended up leaving work. Like, I was yeah, sobbing was. hysterical. I could not... My mom said, you need to go home. Just go home. Yeah. So I took the rest of the day off work, but I had to go to the vet because we had left our cat carrier there with her because you can't just, like, pick her up and carry her, so we had to put her back in there. Oh, Hannah. I'm sorry. See, this is why I didn't want to talk about it because I didn't want to upset everybody when there was nothing we could do but we about don't have, it. But everybody's got questions and Absolutely. we don't want you to have questions because you got to be curious. You, you like, so. Yeah. But you, because you know. I had a feeling it was not going to end well, I didn't want everybody to just like stress out and be upset. We will always share stuff with you. Um, but it's easier to share it with you in the moment when it's got a better prognosis. I figured we were going to pop it out and she'd be fine. Out. We were going to be like, this is what happened. Because like, no. we just got done like, and I didn't want to say anything because we just got done stripering you guys. Yeah. We just dealt with stripers. We just dealt with kitties right before that. We just like got stripers fixed up, which stripers was like, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> uh, so then like now like another cat. So like, I didn't, we didn't want to come to you with that. They were just going to pop it out and she was going to be like, oh, look, she got two stitches. She'll be fine. I, I was so, hoping that would be the case. And, and that's why right. I posted it the night before. Like, hey, send yeah. some positive vibes and, and hope this goes well. But I had, I had a feeling you were out of town. So you missed like the vet visit and everything. And like. I had a feeling it wasn't going to go well. It just so. sucked being out of town to, like, not <laughs> be able to, like, be there. That sucked. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so then the next morning we took stri we had to take okay, stripers so in. So I had to go back to get the cat yeah. carrier, and, like, we had paid a bunch in advance for the surgery, and they had to, like, refund it. They did end up um, waiving the fee for the euthanasia, so that was really nice. They, they were super, like, compassionate there. Our vet is amazing. Um, but I had to, like, sign all the papers and get the refund and take the carrier, and she, like, is in the computer, and she's like... I see you have an appointment tomorrow for stripers. Do you want to reschedule that? Like, who wants to go back to the vet the next day after that? And right. I'm like, no, because Dan's the, leaving town yeah, and Dan needs to take need, him. And stripers need, was, was having mouth issues still, so we had yes. to take him back. Yeah, he had his recheck visit after his surgery, which was supposed to be that Saturday. Um, but Dan was able to reschedule it when we took Kitty, and he rescheduled it for Wednesday morning. So uh, he took him in. He turned out to have, um, I think we talked about this too, he had uh, canker sores. It's stomatitis, which they liken to canker sores. Um, they gave him a steroid shot. That happens because the, like, the body's trying to attack the, all the bacteria and stuff when they're pulling out the teeth. Yeah, because so like, his teeth were it, really bad. Yeah, so it's like having this big battle in his mouth. Yes. And he was crying when he was eating. Yes, yeah, he was howling when he was eating and yawning, so we needed to take him back. A couple and, times a day. Um, a couple people are asking if they do cremation for cats. They absolutely do. They but, do. Um, we have cats, so we're, 
if you put up a bunch of urns and all the cats that we've had in the past, I I don't want them to knock it down and Dude, then it'd be it like gets circus everywhere. Punks. It, it would be like, <laughs> it would be like circus punks. It, I don't, it's not something we have chosen to do for us. It, it doesn't yeah. make sense we'll, for our lifestyle. Uh, we'll take paw prints. Pop, pop, yeah, pop, we do the paw, paw prints, prints are, and, are, and are that, that means a lot. They do um like ornaments too. My right. mom did ornaments for Nala. Like, okay. I'm, we, I call it an ornament, but it's like a little ceramic. Like how kids do their handprints, they'll do that too. Ever since um, I watched Married with Children in that episode, if you guys are old, there's no remains at all for me. <laughs> that enough. episode uh, killed for enough. me. So yeah, he, he got, Stripers got the, the steroid shot. They gave him some opiates, which were too strong. I only oh, gave it to him for right. a little bit. And then I did not like how they, they made him. I don't think he liked it. Um, and he seemed to already be doing much better um, immediately after the steroid shot. And by... You did that Wednesday. By Saturday, he was yawning and only making a little squeak noise that sounded just like a yawn noise, not like I'm in pain noise. And uh, happy to report he is doing really well. He's eating a whole bunch. Um, he seems to be good. He goes in on Tuesday for, for a recheck again. Um, but he's doing good. He's doing really good. The things we go through for our babies. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys all for the kind words. I am reading them here on the screen. It's a lot to read. Um, but yeah, it was it was really upsetting, and I didn't want to have to talk about it on the stream in the middle of it, because I knew I was going to get emotional. So we took Tuesday to uh, basically just like sit on the couch in the dark and be sad. And then Dan left on oh, Thursday? So, yeah, I Yeah, you almost Thursday. didn't go, but... I didn't want to go. It was good for you to I go to, to be distracted. I, I so didn't I'm glad go you went. But yeah, so, so. I... Yeah. So the I'm dynamics like, in the house have changed. So already, so like Kitty, super fast. Uh, the stripers got really high. Yeah, he had opiates. Dan had to show his ID. I didn't know what they gave him, and Dan was like, "I don't know. I had to show my ID." And I'm looking at the paperwork. And I'm like, "Oh my god, they gave him opiates!" Like I never heard of such a thing. Let's try him. Uh, Caroline asking what happened. Our cat Kitty uh, passed away. She crossed over the rainbow bridge. She had some some mouth tumors, and it wasn't fixable. Uh, mouth and throat tumors and stuff. Uh, but by the time we were made aware of it, it was. It but was it happened too late. fast. It happened real within quick. like a week or two. Yeah, real, real quick. Um, uh, yeah. So, so Stripers is doing much better after a shot. Absolutely. So he's running <laughs> around here. So he's still trying to find his way because he's always like running out from here, running over there. But he's happy. He comes out for the food. I can call him over and make him do a U turn. He's and come really pet a attached bit. to me. The whole time you were gone, he followed me around. Like everywhere I go, he would follow me into the bedroom, into the bathroom, into the kitchen. He would. Follow me all around the house. As soon as I sit down, he hops up on my lap. He just wants to, like, be by me. Um, he'll climb up on my chest. He snuggles. He snuggles like Mooch where I can hold him like a baby and he'll snuggle into my neck. So he's settling in really He's well. happier. I can see in his face he's happier. Yes, absolutely. No, Dan, you cannot um, try strangers. Oh, my God. No, I would be so scared, no, no, too. No, no. Um, April worry. asking if Kitty was the mom or a child in the family. Neither. Kitty was a cat we've had for 10 years. We found her in the backyard when we were leaving for work one morning. And she was a tiny little... Blake wanted to call her Skeletor because she was so skinny and scrawny. She was a little... Um, a white stick with bug eyes. Yes, she looked have, like a little Siamese we cat. We have pictures of her somewhere <laughs> when she was really young that we can fetch out at some yes, point. Yes, yes. Um, but yeah, she's the one that, that hid in the bedroom, that like did not come out of our bedroom. She was the reason we had to put food and water in a litter box in there because she would not come out of the bedroom, which is an interesting dynamic change because she basically guarded the bedroom and kept the other cats out of there for the most part. That was her room. Including at night. So, um... For the last week and a half, well, mostly the last few days, like since you've been back really, it was a couple nights while you were gone at the end there. Um, the other cats have realized she's not in there, and Mooch always sleeps with me, Mama Cat sleeps with you, Roxy usually sleeps on your side of the bed, Baxter and Topo, if you guys saw Dan's post on Instagram today, Baxter and Topo have decided, oh, we can come on the bed now. What are you doing? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping now? How about now? Are you awake now? What are you doing? Just all climbing on us, hey, faces in our faces. watch this! Boom! <laughs> oh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Using the litter box in there in the middle of the night. What stinking the it's, 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 it's hard. It's chaos now. She, like, <laughs> warded... She, like, warded... Kitty warded the room. She blocked yeah. everybody from waking us up at night. So and now, we might have to start sleeping with the door closed. Now it's just madness. Now it's just madness. Uh, Dale says, that would be hard for me to not be there with the cat if it comes to a case of having to have the cat put down. Yeah. Yes, and we are always there. Listen. Hard. My cat, Buddha, that I, I came into the relationship with Buddha. I had him for 15 years. When I had to put him down, and he was very much at the end of his life. He was 15 years old. I stood in that vet's office and sobbed for well over an hour. My mom was with me. I called my brother. I'm like, am I doing the right thing? 
I, I will always hold the cat. I went with my mom when she had Nala put down because that was my cat before it was her cat. Like, I brought her into the house and then she got attached to my mom. I will always be there with the cat. But the fact that she was already and under... Last week was hard with her, too. She it was, was really hard. Withering away a little bit. And yeah. Like, and she to watch her be that yeah. stressed out, like, I didn't want to do anything to stress her out more. We were like, hurry. <laughs> that's not to say your decision was wrong at all. But we were just like, hurry. Yeah. Hurry, that, hurry, that's hurry. That's the only cat, cat I've ever yeah. had them make that decision. But I will say, when I took her into the vet that Monday. That Monday night I came home and that was the last night she was really like normal and I gave her some gabapentin and she, oh that girl got high and she was rolling all around on the bed. I have videos on my phone of like her being super snuggly. She was trying to climb into my sweatshirt and I laid in that bed with her for like four hours just snuggling with her. She went to sleep like using me for a pillow. Like we had our moment and then I took care of her and she was really stressed out for a week. So I, it needed to end for her sake and ours. Like it was stressful. Um, and she like she wasn't bathing herself. It was bad. It was really bad. So she need she needed to just just be let go in the easiest way possible. So it, it was hard, but that's it. I Rat, don't want to talk about it. Rat Rat Road's just standing there waiting. For, <laughs> waiting to, to make. Think, <laughs> sorry, just look, take a long. If you've been here before, this is how it goes. Along. The first half hour, I usually talk. <laughs> <laughs> so especially because we haven't been here in a while. So yeah, we're making cookies. We'll, we'll probably run long. Tonight. It sucks, and we're way sadder than. We're smiling right now. Right. But, um, but we've, like, saw yeah. many tears and, and been very sad and still, like, have moments. Like, she was always in the bedroom, and you walk in the bedroom and, like, expect to see her there, and she's not. Or you see another cat and think that it's her. Yeah, I tried to bring her some food the other day. So. Uh, Jess says, not that anyone tells you, but you 100% did the compassionate and right thing. I know. Like, m my head knows that. But, you know, it's, it's hard in your heart. Like, it if they could all just, like, lay down and go to sleep peacefully it would be great like it's hard to make that decision it it's is. really hard it is uh april wants to know how do you spell your name um so c-r-y-s-t-a-l is how my name is spelled like the word just like that however it's a very common name especially with the middle name lee on the internet so that's why i switched to k-r-i-s-t-u-l which was my weird high school spelling when i wanted to be different because i'm german and like in my head, that's how you would spell it. German, I used to put the dots over the U and everything. Uh, Nanda still calls me Christool sometimes because <laughs> the dots over the U. Um, but yeah, if you see me online, it's always with a K and an I and a U because that is never taken. And right. I can I can use that. But yeah, my, my actual name is spelled with a C. But whatever, as long as we can read it, I know who you're talking to. Sam, I did not see your super chat. Well, oh. I, I think I did, but I was talking. Uh, Sam, thank you so much for the member super chat and for supporting us for 40... 41 months. You're awesome. Uh, one of the OGs says, Dan's going to have to learn more Canadian stuff for next week. Dan, what Canadian stuff do you have for us? Um, I, I've <laughs> learned that in Canada, the only thing that's really different is, well, there's two things. One, they put poutine on everything. Like, you could add poutine to, like, like, we went into, like, the Burger King, and it was just on, like, a little clip sign. It's just, like, a scoop of the teen for, like, a dollar or more. That Wait, when you say a scoop of the teen, is it, like, just the gravy and the cheese? Like, you put it on anything? Like, can I add some poutine to my burger? You know, the dude at the register might, like, there might there might be, like, plus teen. But, like, it was just, like, <laughs> it was just, like, the fly. Like, it would be, like, a little fry in a basket with, like, the poutine on it with the, in the, um, cheese. And it's just, like, on there, like, you know, like, oh, right, $1.79. Like to, to, yeah, to poon it up for $1.75. That's different. <laughs> Don't say poon it up, please. No? You guys at home? No? Don't say that. No? All the, all the other Dan's out there? No? So... That's different, and then like I hold out the money, and they make change for me because there's like loonies and teenies, mm -hmm. um, and, and people are like nice. Otherwise, like it's the same. It's pretty. So, it's pretty. Oh, and milk comes in like, <laughs> like milk comes in water balloons. Like <laughs> water you can balloons? totally have like a water balloon flight with milk, like right away. You don't have to like conversion. That sounds terrible. No conversions necessary at all. It's just straight to loon and. Afriel says boom. it's a good thing you're cute, Dan. You know how often I tell him that? Like at least once a week, right? <laughs> at least. <laughs> oh, you should have heard what I said at the dinner table when Al from Eat More Vegans and his family were there. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was, everybody blessed my heart at the same time. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Your heart has been blessed more times in your oh life my than gosh. probably I, most people. I'm not even going to heaven anymore. I'm like whatever's above heaven. <laughs> it's like, he overshot it. You know, like when you play a game and he just goes out of screen. You're so blessed. I've like overshot heaven from the hearts that have been Aww. blessed to me. Nick, you are too generous. Thank you so much for yet another super, super chat. Oh. Thanks, it. Nick. Uh, you guys Thank are very you, special to give your family of cats a second chance. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I'm mostly just a crazy cat lady, and I hate to see them, like, just not living their best There's lives. There's never less than, like, two cats within our sight. Yeah, whichever angle any, you look. At you know, any time right now. Uh, one of the guys I work with, I know his brother, and his brother's awesome, and I absolutely adore his brother. And he came in today and was talking to me, and 
somehow we got on the story he's got dogs and and well a dog he's got a beautiful dog um but i was like telling him yeah i took another cat from here home and he had sunglasses on while he was talking to him but i could see the look in his eyes was he rolling his eyes in under <laughs> and i was there? like yeah I've, I've got nine now and he was just like Okay. <laughs> and I feel like a crazy person when I say it, but those of you who have been to my house, Chris, Amanda, Di, it's not like a crazy, stinky cat house. I pay them 20 bucks at the door. <laughs> Please tell everybody our house doesn't stink. Please tell everybody our house it, doesn't stink. Well, the 20 bucks had the Yelp review sticker on there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, could you leave a... Please go leave a review. I'm, I'm Please hungry. sign I'm this gonna NDA. Go, I'm going to go eat food. Well, okay. Thank you, Nick, thank you again so much. Yes, much appreciated. Thank you for everybody for like your well wishes and stuff as I leave the fridge open. How much does this bother you guys? It's, it bothers me. How many hours so it takes much. for it to get back up the temperature? Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much. And Chris confirming, totally not a stinky cat. For, uh, for not for at love. all. Not at all. Like, uh, periodically stinky, like, oh my god, someone stuck up the litter box, go clean it now. Like, we don't just sit here with a stinky house. It's just, I don't want to smell it any more than you do. <laughs> I can at least see Sam from here. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you're going to the Rainbow Bridge when you're done on it. I hope so. Aw, I hope I do too. I hope you guys make Rainbow Bridge shirts to Dan. Uh, Helen says she still can't get her membership back, has tried a fair few ways to the hearts in the way to get it back, but can't do it. I don't know, friend. I wish I had it's okay. tips and tricks for you. At least you. you're here. Oh, how appropriately timely. Can I can I go on another tangent? Do you guys mind? You don't care. You're just here to hang out. Just remember you have two hours of baking. Route, 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 route. I, I'm sorry. Like, I hope you can follow a recipe because <laughs> I'm not any this, help at all. Like, just remember you still have like two hours left of I cooking. Know. I know. I'm I will, just making cookies. We'll I will find. never get to my, I will never get the eye race. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> Fair. Gaming Ham wants to know if anybody has seen Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. No. No, I have not. But let me tell you a story. <laughs> hold, on. hold on. Did you just use his comment to smash it to the ground and it's jump a, to your point? It's a good segment. Like, that's all I have on that. I didn't even know Ghostbusters Frozen I can't Empire reach was the a next thing. topic. Let me put his comment there so I can jump on it to get to somewhere else. Absolutely. Watch this. So, who knows who Paul Frank is? Do you guys know who Paul Frank is? He's a, an artist who, who draws the Julius monkey. Oh, yeah. With, like, do you have? Yeah. Can you can you grab me a Julius? We have a few things on the. If wall. you're my age, you know who Paul Frank is because he made like clothing and things and stuff. Um, I have lots of Paul Frank stuff in my house. Um, I love Paul Frank's art. He makes a lot of stuff out of. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to think. No, not Anne Frank. Different. Probably what? no relation. It's a football mouth. <laughs> well, here, um, uh, uh, um, we, might, have, we may need to show it more. I have the Mika cat artwork, like in the yellow frame and stuff. See, Hannah knows. Um, Paul Frank's amazing. Okay, love him. Love everything he does. Check him out on Instagram. Um, his stuff is way overpriced, like so hard to afford. Um, but like, I wait for it to go on sale. Uh, Sock monkey, not quite, but like sort of. No, but no. <laughs> um, yeah, you've seen the monkey before, but you didn't know who to write. Yeah, it's Paul Frank. He'd made a whole line of stuff back in, like, the 90s and the, the early 2000s. Um, it was everywhere. Like, if you went to, like, Pacific Sunwear or... Was Miller's Outpost still around then? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, um, I worked at um, no Beyond the Beach, decades. and we carried tons of it. Um, it was on all the clothing. So all the stuff would have Paul Frank. There's the cat. There's the monkey. There's the giraffe. There's the elephant. It's like a whole zoo full of animals. Love Paul Frank. There is still Paul Frank clothing being made, but it's very expensive. And I, I have a hard time justifying spending money on myself. But there's this really cute Paul Frank shirt that I wanted, and it's green, and it has the Julius Monkey face right here in the corner. And I love it. <laughs> yes, Chris, worry bear. Um, and it's been in my Target cart for probably six months. And I placed a Target order the other day because their toilet paper was super cheap with like rebates and coupons and all kinds of stuff. Um, and I ordered the shirt. I'm like, let's do it. I don't care. It was like $25 for the shirt, but I'm like, let's do it. I'm getting the shirt. Yesterday it was delivered, but I forgot to check the mail. So told Dan, please check the mail when you go out tomorrow because my shirt's here and I'm excited. And so Dan got the mail for me. And I pull it out and it's my green shirt. And I'm so excited for my green shirt. And I hold it up and that's not Paul Frank. That's that's not at all what I ordered, not even close. I mean, it's green. <laughs> that's not my Paul Frank shirt that I waited six months to order. Uh, so I contacted them and it was from a third party and they said, it's cool, you can keep it, here's your money back. So now I have a Slimer shirt and he's kind of terrifying. Why does he have people teeth? Does Slimer have human teeth? Is that real or did they just yeah, make this? I think Slimer had teeth. That's creepy. I think I would like him better if he did not have... Now you're stuck with the shirt. Creepy teeth, but 
Uh, I know what I'm wearing next St. Patrick's Day. My sad slimer. Yes, that's. This is how this came around to Ghostbusters. Um, this is awesome. Yeah, now I have a slimer shirt, and I I'm scared to reorder my shirt because they already screwed it up once. Do they even have the Paul Frank shirt? Probably hey. not. So eh, Paul Frank. Just wear the slimer shirt. I want my Julia shirt. Damn it. And not okay with the teeth. <laughs> Don't cross the streams. You know. You know. Okay, shall we make cookies? What are we making again for me to show? Tonight, we are making another copycat crumble cookie recipe. You guys know we talk about crumble cookies a lot. They're amazing. They're ginormous. They're are expensive. You, they're delicious. I don't know. Are you eating that food or are you just rubbing it all over your face? Because it's like, you know, stop licking the bone. That's gross. That's <laughs> Dan's eating chicken oh, and he just up. looked at me and licked the bone. No, just shut up, no. <laughs> don't do it if you don't want me to tell people. You know I have no shame and I will tell people every embarrassing thing you do. I wasn't doing that. You still have chicken on your face, Dan. How do you get it up here? It's a mole. No, it's like on your face. Not, not, you can't use your tongue. You need to like get a napkin. Gross. Are you still going to be able to get the monkey shirt? There was no option to have it replaced. There was only the option to have the refund. So now I have to make a decision, which, first of all, if I want free shipping, I have to order more stuff from Target, even though it comes from a third party. Um, so do I try to order it again and hope I actually get the shirt? But am I actually going to get another Slimer shirt because it comes from, like, China or something? Like, I, I don't know. Messy eater Dan? Yeah. <laughs> just, just rubbing the chicken everywhere. I don't know. He just wants to smell it later. It's disgusting. No, not from Amazon. It was from Target. So Target and Walmart both carry Paul Frank stuff, but it's all from third-party sellers. But I thought if I go through Target or Walmart, like I'll be safe, and it's not some weird Chinese website. I'll have to look and see if I can find it somewhere else. I don't. I haven't done any research. This just happened when I came home for lunch, and then I went back to work and like, where's my order? Hey, this isn't the right thing. And I even sent them a picture of me like holding it up, all disappointed. Like you need evidence that you disappointed me. Do you see my disappointed face? Not happy. So that's for them. Shall we do this? <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be a graham cracker cookie, if my computer wants to work, uh, with a cheesecake, like frosting but filling, not like inside, but like a frosting all over the, the top of it. Uh, Auntie Ange says, I totally work for said store. Tell me a size and I will see what I can do. I wear a men's medium. I don't like ladies shirts because they do this weird thing where I don't have the hips to fill it out. Um, but it doesn't come from Target. So unless you work for this Chinese third party reseller, I don't think you're gonna be able to do anything. Like I can't return it to the store. They told me just to keep it because it's more to ship it back to China than for me to just keep it. So yeah, I do appreciate the offer. Thank you. But men's medium, if it does happen to come up, but I don't think they have Paul Frank stuff in the store at all. I don't think, I don't think either Walmart or Target carries any of the stuff in the store. It's just disappointing. It used to be everywhere. Remember like 20 years ago, it was everywhere. Oh, Paul yeah, Frank yeah. was the jam. We all wore Paul Frank, like with your little tiny baby doll tees and, and the monkey and the cat, and the stuff and the things. All right, let's see. Do you need your oven on? I will. I'm getting there. Ugh. There's a big banner across uh, the bottom of the computer with the stupid mayor's face on it, and I hate his stupid face. All right, 350 for the oven. Railroad, railroad, I'm sure you're way ahead of me, but here we go. Auntie Ann says, I'm on the case. Thank you. Christina Goldfish says, Hot Topic carries it too. I don't ever go to the mall, but that is good to know. I will definitely check. Never heard of Paul Frank. You're missing out, friend. Probably not your jam, but it's one of those things that like was popular when I was a kid, and I just love the, the monkey face so much. I have pajamas and... I don't think I have socks, but I have artwork. I have the, the figure, like, I have a bunch of Paul Frank shirts already, like way too many. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's a nostalgia thing and I just love him. I think the monkey's cute. I love Julius. All right, so we're gonna cream together. I need to do something. Oh, that's my little mouse. This, this computer's failing me. I need to cream together butter, sugar, and brown sugar. Oh, thanks for the hugs, everybody. I, I appreciate you guys, like, as my friends. Um, for being supportive of like all the things my my disappointing shirt purchase and and my loss of my cat in one half hour update of my life thank you guys all right so we're gonna do one and a half cups of armpit butter I know Hot Topic has a website but I hate paying shipping fees so I always do that thing where I'm like I can add more stuff I want to get something for my money not shipping fees so then I add things to my cart over and over until I have free shipping and then I'm like do I really need to spend $50 and then I don't I again I have a hard time spending money on myself Dan and I both do this thing where like 
We have no problem. Oh, you want a thing? I'm gonna buy it for you. Here's the thing you wanted that you don't need at all. But neither of us like buy things for ourselves. Three whole sticks of butter. Ah, oh, Doris says that brown sugar thing rocks. I got it because of you and love it. I love these containers. This is the best set of containers I've ever had. And I've recommended them to so many people. I'm sure a bunch of you have these in your kitchen. My mom has one. Um, I had one and the rubber broke on the thing that holds. This one's actually kind of starting to dry out. Um, and I bought a brand new one because I love it that much. I don't even care. Uh, Wilton says, I end up doing that on Amazon to get free shipping. Amazon's the one place where we do have Amazon Prime because Dan needs it for his reviews and stuff. Um, so I can just buy whatever I want. Like, I'll buy a $3 thing and have them ship it to me for free because F Amazon. Pay the shipping price. All right. Uh, what size shirt? I wear a men's medium. I do not like women's sh the way women's shirts fit because the sizing is never consistent across, like, women's and juniors and different brands and all that stuff. And... It's just, I don't like sausage casings. So men's medium, always men's medium. Strapper's on my side of the bed. And Jess says, I have Prime. I order way too much. I need the free shipping. Oh yeah, it's so easy to just like click on it and be like, send. Oh, it'll be here tomorrow. Amazing. Uh, we have had things show up the same day because we have an Amazon warehouse in the next town over. So that's also amazing. Uh, our Walmart got rid of self-checkout. Yes, they did. That was an inter interesting 20 minutes in line. I went to Walmart while you were on this trip because I needed to get frozen fruit because I forgot to tell you to get some, and I was not a happy camper at all. Did you forget those days where we'd be so mad that when we'd go to the store, we're like, I don't want to go because the lines are going to be crazy. Mm -hmm. And then the lines, you know, back up through the, like... I um, have literally walked away from clothing. the cart and just left because yeah. I can't deal with it. Um, I get really angry standing in line. I hate standing in line. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. It's the biggest waste of time. It's so stupid, which is why ties back into why I have Prime because I can order so many things online. And I realize that Walmart and Amazon are both crappy companies that are horrible to their employees. But if I don't have to stand in line, my life is better. And again, with finding the things that make my life better. I... I was standing in line and I found it humorous because you get a lot, a lot of talk about like, well, if they're worried about this, if they're going to check my receipt at the door, just bring back the cashiers. Right. Yeah, well, now you have 10 more minutes on average waiting for and your look, return. And every, did you see how many registers were open? At least a dozen, right? There were a bunch open, but right? let's at talk about... At least a dozen. Look, you know why I love going to Stater Brothers? Because I love the cashier. We go and see the same guy, Rod. Hi, Rod, if you're watching, because I know we popped up on your uh, recommended stuff. Um, Rod is amazing, super friendly, like he knows that we do stuff. He didn't ask me today what I was baking, and I was all prepared with an answer because I'm an overthinker, and I always have to think about what I'm going to say well before I have to say it. Right. But his manager was standing there talking to him about how they need lights in the park. Well, Rod was telling him you need to get some lights in the park. He was there, actually. Really he right was, now. and I went through his line. Um, he barely like said hi to me because he was mid-conversation. Totally fine, whatever. The Walmart employees, like... Dude, the one guy was yelling in my face they when just I was trying don't to show care. my receipt. He was yelling to somebody else in my face, and I'm like, ugh. But, okay, so here's the thing. I don't need you to be my friend, but could you say hi? Uh, so, here, here's the thing. They're, like, still disenchanted as they're swiping items at the register. And, like, I still showed my receipt at the door. And, like, they said, yes. they, they, yeah, so, I don't know. I don't think it's it sucks, because, like, I get in and out, and I'm fast, and I'm not. But... I think if we pay for their bus service, there's one line that's open for the self-checkout for their, what, $50? I'm like, tempted, uh, but I don't want to give bigger. Walmart any more money than I have to. Like, we really only go to Walmart for, like, yeah. the five things the, that don't the, get sold anywhere yeah. else. Okay, so, like, the good example, like, just... Okay, so the good example is I'm leaving. We need two bags of cat food for the cats. And, like, literally, like, that's it. Bam, bam. I rock, walk up, and now, like, every line is just and right. I'm just waiting. You and just I need two things real well, quick. But you're waiting for the grumpy cashier who's scanning at like the slowest speed ever and does not care and doesn't make eye contact and just slams um, your stuff down. All of a sudden, like everybody's carts are full. Right? <laughs> everybody's getting like, everything. Yeah, yeah. And I went out the door fast. I went in my car fast. I got there fast. I got out the car fast. I grabbed my stuff fast. I got to the line and fast on. So all of us, you know, they need to take sudden. a cue from Aldi also because Aldi expects you to bag your own groceries. Totally fine. They're fast they put at your Aldi. cart at the end and they fill up everything into your cart and then you take it over to the counter and you bag it. 
Walmart has the little spinner with the bags attached to it. They don't bother bagging your groceries. They just stick it on top of the triangle. It would be just as much effort to put it in the bag, but no, I have to sit there and try to bag all the stuff while they're grabbing completely randomly, like, oh, one heavy thing, and now your loaf of bread, and now a breakable We're jar, and oh, it just makes me so mad. Let, let's stop, let's stop, I'm done. Oh, I gotta switch the penguins. Okay, so I've got three sticks of butter in here. That's better. I'm like, who is that jarhead? It's someone else's jarhead from <laughs> Dallas. Not the jarhead you're yeah, used not to. Not my jarhead. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's it's back and it's back. So I don't get it because Cheers. like, uh, they have like, if you notice when they're standing there and it looks like when you're at self checkout and it looks like they're just on their cell phones, they're looking at everybody's well, register not, uh, and they can uh, see the items that are scanning it. It shows up with a little picture and stuff like that. So they're watching you already. Ooh. Trying not to steal, so I don't know why they needed to do away with it. But, Three, uh, 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 yeah. So I thought that was interesting. So when I asked the lady, she said they're not coming back. Okay, so that was three quarters cup of regular white sugar. Don't start drinking without me, Chris said. <laughs> He's gotta go. I gotta get a little further out in this recipe, so let me know when you're back and we'll see what we can do. Okay, and then we're gonna do one and a half cups. I'm gonna get a bigger measure. This is the jarhead you're looking for. Yeah, I mean jarhead. It's like the defenseman that used to play hockey. That's now an announcer, and his head's just unknock outable at all. It don't matter if he stands up and just bumps his head. Big and square. That thing's gonna like the thing's gonna have a coin coming out the top of it, like Mario or something like that. Yes. Okay. And you guys like you guys type too much. <laughs> like I need you guys to have like three word sentences, man. I need like what is it? Why do many word when few word do trick? Or what is it? Uh, I, Uncle Yukon, I do the same thing when I put stuff on the belt. Put the heavy stuff that should be at the bottom of the bag or like bag together, together. The Walmart employees, I don't know how they train them. They just do this thing where they'll like reach over and grab things out of the middle and I don't understand why they do it. It drives me absolutely insane. I freaking hate Walmart so much. I don't know if it's just our town. Maybe you guys have good employees at your Walmart. Uh, Walmart uh, put Afriel sister's Walmart delivery. They put a case of canned veggies on top of a jar of mayo and dropped it on the porch hard. And she had mayo covered groceries. Hot. Sounds about right. Oh, everything went away. You like shut it all down. <laughs> shut it all down. Thanks, Dan. Hold on. This episode is directed by Rat Rod Rat Rod Railroad Bruckheimer. Oh, mixer cam. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes I forget what we're doing. Oh yeah, I'm baking. I can't get off of this screen. Back when like. More people didn't care about calories and realize that they were gaining so much weight baking along with me and like there were more people baking along. I paid a lot more attention to like, here's this step and we're gonna do this in order. Um, everybody still always baked faster than me no matter what. Oops, um, sorry. So it doesn't matter what I do, but yeah, that's why I post the recipe because you're not gonna be able to follow along. I, I'm too slow. No heads up sorry. on that though. No. <laughs> no heads up on that. Well, I, I sent him the recipe. All right, so what are we doing here, Crystal, for a little bit? Let, let's, let's have a cooking show for like a minute. Just one? So inside here is already some yummy stuff that I want to stick my finger in. Um, this right now is so far butter and sugar, and now I'm adding a cup and a half of brown sugar. So there are uh, uh, one and a half plus three quarter cups, so two and a quarter cups of sugar in here. Two. Uh, uh, uh. One more. I like going to the store because I like shopping. I really like shopping. Yeah, I, I like, like the bright lights, and I like to get out in public, and I like to look at Hot Wheels and whatever else is new, and the new candy bars and the new. I like things. shopping, but I hate looking for things in a store, and I hate our Walmart has like everything locked up. Oh, you need some socks behind glass. Good luck finding an employee who has a key and will come and open this for you. So I would prefer to just shop online. Please just ship it to me, and anything and everything I can have shipped to me, I will because I can't stand having to find some disgruntled employee to tell me that they don't have a key, so. Mm -mm, not uh, I like going to, not the grocery store. How could you not want to be at the Meyer every day? <laughs> like, I might want to work there just to like, just, it's everything, it's everything you need in life is at the Meyer. Everything. Everything oh you need in life. Uh, Amanda with her member super chat, thank you so much, friend, Hi, for Amanda. always being here and for supporting us. Look how us many words are on the screen right for now. For 46 months. Dan and Crystal, can you let me know which cat will be doing my cat scan tomorrow? Please let it be a friendly one that will, that will not, <laughs> wait. Not one that will claw me to death and give me a great report, i.e. kidney stone. Ouch. Ooh, ouch. Hey, Again? Hey, Still? friend, oh. do, do you have to drink the beryllium? Beryllium? You have to drink the beryllium? Do you have to do that? And are they going to give you the contrast? I need to know. I need to know. <laughs> 
It'd be a lot cooler if they had cats in there, wouldn't it? If there was a cat everywhere I went, my life would be so much happier. Uh, what's the penguin score? It just started. So, nothing. Uh, no, 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 no. Like, oh, did it not just start? You, what you're watching is in between periods. Oh. I thought I saw it was three to one of the penguins, but I'm not quite sure. That doesn't surprise me. That all. doesn't surprise uh, me. Fear and Bug with a super, super chat. Thank you so much, friend. Appreciate you. Sorry you've had a poo week. <laughs> my doesn't count. Oh, I mean, thanks. once it's, Aren't like, we... this crappy, it's gotta go up, right? Like, it's it's gotta get better. Look at Mario just pounding all over you, like, Hey, out of the way! Out of my way! <laughs> it's like Night at the Roxbury. <laughs> what is love? Jess oh. says Meyer doesn't count because she can shop and scan there. Liz says we're hiring. <laughs> I don't remember which state she's in, but... I'll you be can right go there. Go work at her, Meyer. <laughs> oh, be our inbound. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, despite, like, kitty stuff, uh, the way it's been, like, it is great, like... Everybody was right at the convention. I have like so many freak like miles. Like I'm like almost got my wings. <laughs> I mean, we already joined the Mile High Club in that one video. Stop uh, it. Stop and then it. Uh, no. yeah, so now I'm just waiting for my, that. My old man at work today asked me, "What what's his name again? Ray?" <laughs> I said, "Dan." Yeah, is he back from his trip yet? <laughs> oh, I like I'm, I like Ray. No, no. Remember Nanda dated a Ray, and he was really Am I crazy. Ray? So no, no, you were never gonna be Ray. Ray stole from us and denied it, but then replaced the things he stole from us, and he stole from us. We don't like Ray. Ray was crazy. No contrast here. Okay, good. But still need to deal with stones. Boo! I don't think they'll ever go away. No! That sucks. I, uh, my boss, when I worked at the gas station, had kidney stones, and, like, that's no joke. Y'all are miserable, and I don't blame you, because from what I understand, it's really painful, and that sucks. I wish there was, like, some sort of magic fix. I've never had one. I don't know... I know there's things that cause them, but I also know that some people are just more prone to them, like your biology is more prone to it. Right. My older brother is Ray. <laughs> He's a jerk. Well... <laughs> yeah, nobody likes Ray. Maybe I'm bringing the nicest of the Rays back. Maybe maybe I am a Ray of sunshine for the Rays. I still want more food. That wasn't enough. Afriel heard that Aldi had some collapsible silicone baking dishes on sale from another group. I don't love silicone I baking didn't, dishes. I didn't either. Wait, to be fair, I only tried them once when they first became a popular thing, and it made my stuff taste weird. It didn't. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the texture that it left. Yeah, I, I, like I was not a fan. But thank you. Maybe one day I'll try it again. But yeah, Dan's mom bought us a bunch of them, and um, I used them for a little bit and then got rid of them because I was not happy. Sorry, I was trying to scrape my bowl. Uncle Con had kidney stones three times. Doctor said to cut back on everything with calcium in it. Yeah, I don't think I could do that. That's milk, right? Mm -hmm. See, some people almost message me more prone because I drink a lot of milk and I've never had a kidney stone. Uh, Jennifer won't be there for Dantix tomorrow. She has choir practice. Well, enjoy your choir practice, and don't worry, you can always play it back later. You just can't play along live. We do have um, four new categories. I did sit down and make a, a final. What are you eating? Is that mine? What? Are you eating my my snacky cake? No. Did no. you open your own? No, this is a. This is a what is it? Oh, a pancake. Dang. Okay. I thought it was my snacky cake. No, those are yours. Um, I did sit down last night and make a fourth category. What's snacky cake? About? The tasty cakes. Yeah. Oh. What was I? You were asleep on the couch by like 9.30. Terry called last night. Is Terry here? Terry, Terry, Terry. Oh, Terry got a puppy. Terry called last night to show us her puppy, and then Dan fell asleep. Oh, man, I, was, I fell asleep when you were watching Ricky Stanicki. <gasps> Ricky Stanicki. Don't watch it. Oh, my God. I fell asleep before the ended. If you're into stupid things... Like John Cena? Like, you'll laugh at it. It's it's not, like, terrible, but it, it's bad. It's it's stupid comedy. Really bad. It was on Prime, if you want to check it out. Uh, Mackenzie says hi, Dan. <laughs> Forget about me. Whatever. I didn't say hi to you anyway, Mackenzie. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Most people say hi, Dan and Crystal. Could just, you, just to teach you Could you be nice right to Mackenzie? No. She didn't say hi to me. We're Mackenzie, not even Mackenzie, could you? No. No. There oh, we go. Hi to you, too. Thanks. I'm an asshole. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Has Mackenzie won... Did she just go here? <laughs> and she only said hi to you. How does she get back into your good... How does Mackenzie get back into your good graces? Only with time, Dan. I'm That's not, it? I'm not quick to forget. That's it? Band-aids don't fix bullet holes? Is that, <laughs> did it cut yeah, like a knife? Ac accurate. Yeah. yeah. This is Dang. my show. Mackenzie, I would file a lawsuit. 
<laughs> On what grounds, Dan? I was just at... You're the, so American. I was just at President Headquarters, right? <laughs> I, yeah, like just on Monday, I was at President Headquarters. I think I can. Is go that the technical term for it? Yeah, there was this box that was like on, like on a pole, and it was just like, "What do you need?" So <laughs> I'll just grab one piece of the paper and I'll just file your there. first world problems yep. here. Click. So I got you, I got you, Mackenzie. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time, Mackenzie. It's kind of what I do. All yeah. right, let's get back to this. So we've got our butter, sugar, and brown sugar. It's creamed together quite well. Let's see if the computer wants to cooperate. There we go. Nope. There we go. Come on. Add the egg and vanilla. Mix until light in color and creamy. All right. I'm going to throw this computer out the window. Which is also something Ray did, by the way. This is why we don't like Ray. I don't know, man. What did, what did, what did a Dan ever do? Is there any famous Dan? He never... Couldn't well, figure out how to use a computer and threw it out a window. When was the last time there was a statue with the name Dan on it? Find me a, not, not a wax statue either. <laughs> Can you give me two eggs, please? But you find me a bronze Dan statue. Bronze Dan statue. <laughs> Would you want two eggs? Yes, please. Hi, Aaron. How you doing tonight? Here. Hey. Think fast. No, absolutely not. Do not do that. Stop. Why would you do that? You know how much anxiety you just gave me? Nice. Hey, nice, hey, nice catch. They say one in ten. Like, my heart hurts a little bit. Like, you gave me a lot of anxiety. That was bad news. Don't do that. Don't laugh. It's not funny. Uh, what kind of puppy did Harry get? A mutt, but he's really cute. I'll show you guys a picture later. I have a picture. If she shows up, we'll tell her to, to post a picture in the, the RFS Cats group or something. He's cute. Uh, the cats are getting used to him, but the good news is, like, he's a puppy, they're kittens. They'll quickly, like, understand that they all live together and they'll be fine, I'm sure. Um, and the kittens were there first, so they have a little, you know, dominance, like, this is our house. They're curious, but they're not friends yet. The puppy's got too much energy. What stupid reminder. This is a reminder. Hit up the back of Blake's neck. <laughs> This is a reminder. Hit up the back of Blake's neck. <laughs> I forgot we were so. I didn't even think about a streaming to, to, tonight, but yeah. Way you go, Dan. You got kicked out. I every episode, I'm pretty much kicked out of here. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, don't throw eggs. <laughs> says we need to get you a Texas size fly swatter so you can thwap him <laughs> when he does that. Is that the ones that have like the bug zap thing on there? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Clack. Blake's got a shock collar. Um, Blake is, is so caring about animals that he found a really good deal, like, almost free on shock collars, and he bought as many as he could just so nobody else could have them, and he, like, threw them away. Like, just because he didn't want people to have shock collars. <laughs> but he did keep one so that we could use it on Dan. Uh, Alan, we are doing well. It is good weather out here because I know you're going to ask. It is 64 degrees and we are on the, like, decline. Like, it was warmer than that today. It was in the 70s. So, it feels good. Front door's open. Fresh air is in the house. Um, I might still need to drink tonight. But other than that, I'm feeling good. Uh, will you try the cookie today or tomorrow? Probably tomorrow because it's a cheesecake filling. So, it's probably going to have to be refrigerated. But, like, we gotta, we'll be able to throw something on something and put it in our mouths. Yes, but it'll probably be better tomorrow. Yes, but... Yeah, which we'll show on Dantix. Uh, but we will definitely try a piece on s to some degree. Um, Jennifer, why what? You can't just say why. I mean, uh, I mean, I maybe Dan throwing eggs. Maybe the fly swatter <laughs> with the shocker. Um, maybe the Ghostbuster shirt. Maybe Alan, the I beat picture. you to it. I already told you the weather. <laughs> There's like 400 whys that happened in the last like five minutes. Probably, yes. <laughs> uh, they came out with a Minecraft cookbook. I saw it in a mall. I, mean, I can't even imagine what well, we I saw a Minecraft Catan cookbook. cookbook that I like tagged Jess in. I, <laughs> I don't imagine. even know. Okay, so we added two eggs and a whole tablespoon of vanilla. Because again, this is a huge recipe. Three and three quarter cups flour. It's going to be a tight fit in here. So now we're going to mix together our dry ingredients and mix them into the dough. So let me get my computer to go back up. You Do you need to reload this? Why is it so laggy? It's probably trying to download another update while it's doing it. It's like, okay, well, yeah, maybe we'll get it Maybe I'll reload it and start over. But I noticed it just had an update. I have another window open. Let's see if that helps. Close everything that's not what I'm using. Okay, let me get a bowl to fix my dry ingredients. Do you need tech support? 
Oh, well, not right now. I'm trying to host the show. Well, I mean, you know, it's like a four-hour turnaround. Ah, Jason is here and laughing at the fact that Blake has a shot collar and says he should save it to use on... No, that he, laughing that he saved it to use on Dan. Dan said he was going to do it, but he hasn't. He, he didn't commit to the bit. Jason, why don't you come visit? Can, can we do it to you? Uh, three and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour. If I don't have enough in here, don't you worry. There are 25 pounds of flour on my counter over there. Dan went to Costco today and got me all the flour so I can bake all the things. Oh, was that really only $8.99? What's that? The tag yeah. of it said $8.99. Yeah. yeah, if you guys have a Costco card and you like to bake, go get your flour at Costco. I think so. It, you have to look. I'll look at the picture. I you got to have a lot of Tupperware and cupboard space. And I put it all in Tupperware and I fill up like all my big Tupperwares and I put it in the top cupboard of the pantry and store a whole bunch yeah, of it. Eight ninety nine for 25 pounds of it. That's amazing. That's so amazing. Ooh, there's log cabin syrup oh, by the gallons. Jason, that shot game was not the business and I never even did it. We used to have this game. It wasn't that bad. We were all just like oversensitive about it. It had like a little like controller type thing that you held and I, it would go around. I almost got that. I can make that, bro. Oh, it would go around and then randomly would uh, zap one of the people. And you didn't know who, like, it was just a game of chance. I never played one that. One of them was, or one of them, like, did a thing where you had to be, like, you had to, like, chime in quick. Is that what it was? Yeah. But we I, were I just, don't know. Like, I never played but it. But it only took four double A's, so it was only, like, a double A puts out one and a half volts. So three, so it could only be, it, like, it only had six volts of power in there. Still if it was just four double A's. But yeah, we didn't play that much. Uh, Wilton says she has a video somewhere of Don trying out a shot collar. She should find it and make a YouTube short of it. You should. You should. And you should remix it where it's like, that, 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 oh. that, that, and it's just over and over again and nauseam. I would think that would be great. Rad Rod I, I would totally for sure watch that. That I'm doing just fine. Thank you. I need that reassurance sometimes. I really do. Okay, hold on because I have to count this. One. Dan said last night it was like when you get stuck in a train because I couldn't have any more conversation because I had to. Dude, it was thing. weird. We weren't on camera or anything. I what were you making? Count. What were you making? Hold on. Okay, that's one. I had to measure out for pancakes. That's that right. It was, <laughs> we were making pancakes last night. I was eating gelato. It was so one and a quarter pancakes. cups, and I didn't want a dirty two, so I had to do five quarter cups, so I had to count to five. Ah, it worked. Terry, I said your name three times, and here you are. Uh, okay, hold on. I mean, Keep that was like five minutes wait, ago, wait, but here wait, you are. Finish the story first. What story? Oh! <laughs> okay, so she was making the pancakes and she needed this process to happen and she told me to stop talking so she could count like the count and make. It's the only way I don't lose pancakes. count! This was like last night. <laughs> like nobody was around. I do this in I. real life. I really do. I, I, like, you know, you do. You I, do. I did not make it up for the show. Like, that's something that I've always done in my head and now I can do it out loud because, like, oh, look, it's a bit that I do. But no, I've always done it in my head. Okay, so one, ah, ah, ah. Three. It's the only way I can remember. Like, then my head holds the information better and knows, like, that I counted that. Okay, so that was three cups. Now we're going to do three quarter cups. So much flour. One. Ah, ah, ah. Get there. Two. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Amanda thanking me for inspiring her to make big chewy cookies. You never need a reason, but I'm glad I inspired you. Thank you and Chris for uh, one, inspiring the name of the show, or like naming the show, and two, recommending that we share the recipes with people so that you guys can bake along or bake afterwards. Uh, Dan and Crystal, PetSmart gift card or Walmart? Did you not hear the rant about Walmart? <laughs> PetSmart. <laughs> I hate Walmart. I still shop there when I have to, but PetSmart gift cards are amazing. We do have a PetSmart on the other side of town. That's where we get worms. We often get our cat food there. Um, if we wait too long to order on Chewy, and then we'll go right over I there. I get the worms from, her, from MJ there. Every time, yes. Every, yes. every time. Uh, Terry says, I'm great. Just got a puppy. That's what we were talking about. Drea Kitty Husky is here with her member super chat. Thank you so much, friend, for supporting us for 20 months. You are awesome, and we miss you. Hey, everyone. I hope everyone has an awesome spring break. What's yeah. spring break? We're adults. We don't yeah. have that. Uh, Alan wants to know what we're doing for Easter. Dan will be in Canada. I will probably go hang out with my mom and uh, help her do her taxes. 
because she needs help with that. Okay, what are the rest of my dry ingredients? There's my flour. Two and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs. <laughs> that was my face! Oh, remember that time you threw an egg at me? Terry Dan threw an egg at me. Like, I asked him to get me some eggs, and he was just like, here, catch, and then threw the egg. I tossed an egg at her. I was this far away from her face. From my face you was this were, far away you from you. You were here by the fridge. And you caught that. I was standing this far Terry, away. I, wait, and Terry, she, I caught it, and it didn't even break. I caught it, too, with my face. <laughs> yeah, that, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Did you guys see it? Wait, hold on. I was here. Did it, like, come back into the frame on the back, on the back swoop or no? Afriel's cheering me on. <laughs> it, 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 Some people here like it when I assault Dan. <laughs> I mean, I can, I can tell you all the ingredients that her and are in it. You can't read that fast. Did you not? Oh, because I'm like an inch off the... No, know. nobody saw it. But, but I was like... The but, box just went off But I'm camera. literally right here like the sun and I'm like on the... Look, I'm like on the, I'm the sun on the edge. You deserved it. <laughs> yep. Heather B's on Team Crystal. <laughs> I didn't see the box come back in the front. Darn. Oh. is enough. I debated getting two boxes, but I didn't want it to go bad if I didn't use it all, but we'll find out. They usually go so they usually go soggy. This one's still good. I had like a half a cup left in my other one, but it wasn't that long ago that we used it, so we're still good. What you doing, Dan? I don't know what happened to the box. I threw it at your face. It's in your hand. Oh, no, there was another box. Well, yeah, I'm gonna have to put this back in there. You can't have that. Oh, so I can't have like box hands? Nope. I was trying to make a robot. Mm -mm. Can I play with it? Take your with uh -uh. it? No, because you're going to break it. What if I try to not break it? Oh, Terry's uh, waiting for her ride and her phone's going to die. Come back when you get home, friend. Yeah, we want to see pictures of the of Blue. Also, you better say, you're my boy, Blue. Like, all the time. How many fingers do I have up? It doesn't matter. How many am I doing? Are you hot? Two I and a half. Like, air you out. No, no, no. Please don't fling crumbs at me. Ooh, uh, uh, uh. Like, this bowl is not even big enough, and somehow I'm supposed to fit this in here. I should have done a half a recipe. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. What's wrong with you? You can't- that bowl's overflowing. Is that supposed to go inside here? <laughs> Did I not just say that? No, I was reading the screen about Dolly Parton's banana cake mix. I care. saw her recipes. I wasn't too sure. I don't- I don't love box mixes. Like, in general, so we, I didn't go for we it. We do love box brownies. Yes, box brownies are the box only kind brownies. of brownies. Wait, and okay. cosmic brownies. I will make cosmic brownies. Yeah. Hold on, I have to I have to peek at hockey to see what the score is. It doesn't matter. We're like almost mathematically out of the playoffs. All right, I need two teaspoons of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. But if we lose, it helps out Jesse's team. Three baking soda. Two baking sodas. <laughs> Too much flour, you counted wrong, Dan interrupted. No, stop. I uh 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 so I wouldn't lose count. Uh Jess, the the Washington Capitals are tied with the Hurricanes six to six in a shootout. You need Washington to lose, like badly. You really need Washington not to get that second point. Oh, oh, oh and I need a teaspoon of salt. Dang it, get back here. Uh, I gotta go to that game. Out of my way. Shannon says Dolly's uh, box brownies are fabulous. Just says we need a lot of people to lose. Ah, yo. Well, you need them to lose like right now. Whoa, multicast. It's playing three hockey games at once. Oh! How is that even practical? Like, you can't see anything. It's not even full screen. Oh, you can press play to go full screen. You can get a fourth one in there? Oh my god, Dan. Dan, do you need to watch four sports balls at once? Oh, all screens filled. <laughs> Shannon yelling that the Caps are not going to lose. She's in Virginia, right? Virginia's the one that doesn't have any sports teams. Yeah. Is it, that why you, you cheer on the Caps? It's over. The Caps won, and the Caps got the second point. Wah, wah. But that's okay. You guys are still in the league tonight, Jess. Um, yeah, there was a lot of Washington Capital uh, hockey member paraphernalia when I was there. 
Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot. Mm -hmm. I noticed at the convention, which was a lot of fun. The convention was fun. Yeah, we do have stuff that you guys sent home um, for us and a box from... Dan, who's the box Ashy. from? Ashy, thank yes. you. Yes, we got stuff from Melissa, stuff from Ashy, stuff from Shannon sitting over here. Which the, Melissa? The, the Tasty Cakes, Melissa G. The Tasty Cakes are almost gone. Dang, really? No, yours are here. The other box, because there was another box of peanut buttery ones and oh. stuff. Because, like, and then I like, think Shannon brought us, like, chips and stuff, but, like, we just ate all those. Yeah, the chips, chips don't go home. Chips don't go home. So we ate the chips, which good. they're good, because they know that we, that salt and vinegar taste is just salt and vinegar. Yeah. Sea salt and vinegar or whatever. It's such good. It's like... It's best. such good? <laughs> it's such good. Much good. Such much good. Um, Doris says, have you been to the Hockey Hall of Fame, Dan? It's in Toronto if you get time to explore it. You know, Justin and I were just talking about that today. Even if we make it to the playoffs, it's not going to matter. Yeah, except for the 8th place team said that last year and they beat Boston four straight. So, you can do the same to Boston. If you have to play Carolina Hurricanes, it's over. They're winning the cup this year. But, you know, you never know. Just don't stop believing. Thanks, now that's going to be stuck in my head. <laughs> Rat 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 was shouting salt at the screen. Thanks. I, I double checked. I usually don't forget things. But Wait, you could have typed it. <laughs> <laughs> he did eventually. He typed that he was shouting it. Uh, have you discovered the big box of Ghirardelli triple chocolate brown brownies from Costco? No, I'm pretty loyal to the. Can you open the cupboard? The right side? I can never remember. Oh, it's behind everything. Pillsbury. Pillsbury? Yep. Uh, milk chocolate family size box. We have done the Ghirardelli one. Yeah, I've, I've tried many, many different flavors, and that's the one. Oh, Afriel. We might not be friends anymore. Now that's in my head. I hate that song, and Blake and Dan love it, and they mm -hmm. sing it all the time, and it makes me something, something. Does it make you have pineapple, apple, pen? Stop it! <sighs> See what you've done? Do you see what you've done here? So I'm adding this like a cup at a time because there's a lot and I don't want to turn the mixer on and have it just floof out everywhere. So I'm trying to get a little bit at a time. Striper's is super chilling on my bed. I walked by and petted his cheeks. He's on the bed? <laughs> yeah, he's chilling on the bed. He's super comfortable. Um, if you guys follow RFS Cats on Instagram, you've seen he is trying out all the places to sleep in the house. His favorite is still that gray man dog bed. Um, but the other day, he was, fear and bug, you wanna fight? <laughs> um, the other day when I came home, he was in the, the cat toy box, like the little bin for their toys. He was curled up and taking a nap in there. I posted that picture on uh, RFS Cats. But you can definitely tell he's getting more comfortable. He sprawls out in the middle of the floor in front of our uh, blue cabinet outside our bedroom door. He's just trying to find his place. Still not really like friends with anybody. Like I haven't, oh, he plays with toys. Did I tell you he plays with toys now? Um, I have seen him and Baxter kind of like, I don't want to say sizing each other up because that sounds like they're going to fight, but kind of like checking each other out and trying to see like, can we be friends? What are we doing? So I think him and Baxter will eventually play a little bit, but um, last weekend he went and laid on uh, the bed, the cat bed in the bedroom and I put a little lizard toy. I think one of you guys sent us a little lizard toy. Um, I put it on the edge of the bed and then I was talking to Terry on uh, video chat and I heard some noise and I went and looked in there and he was batting it around and playing with it. Mr. Tails' little lizard? Yes. Um, and he likes the shoelace. I played with him with the shoelace the other night. He's happy. He wants to want to hang out and play with the cat. Yeah, he's just trying to get comfortable. Uh, also, it's like getting screened and warmer out and Baxter is running around like a maniac as the bugs start coming. He's like doing the berms where like the side of the couch mm -hmm. is just like a big berm and he's running around and yes. stuff. He's crazy. Like, yeah. Uh, Warrior Cat wants to know if there's a place to buy the cat food bowl stands. Yes, ma'am, there is. You can go look. I think you're a ma'am. I'm sorry if you're not. Um, yes, person. Person. <laughs> uh, you can go to Etsy, to uh, the RFS Dan shop on Etsy, and you can buy them there. You can get them customized with your pet's name and in a variety of colors, with or without a bowl. The bowl dimensions, I think, are on there. Um, but we also have the bowls to provide for you, so make sure you have a bowl that fits in it. 
<laughs> Which one does Crystal hate? Dan's singing. <laughs> Anything that Dan sings, but I, not because I hate Dan singing, but because Dan likes to get the earworm songs. And, like, the most annoying ones ever and, and just sing them, which I will often counteract with Legos Everything is Awesome. Like, was, Lego Movie Everything is Awesome. Because um, that'll get in my head and I'm not mad at it. But Dan has about 15 different songs at any given moment. He can bust into song and make me something something. And if you don't know what I mean by something something, you need to watch more Simpsons. Greg, Jess, and I were at the mall. Oh, it's Greg's birthday today. It is, yes. I did say happy birthday to Greg because I'm a good friend. I don't have his phone number, so I couldn't. Greg, if you're watching, happy birthday. Um, They had game night tonight, and they were eating some barbecue. So. You guys are just trying to piss me off with earworms, aren't you? Oh, this is thick. I might have to mix the rest of this by hand. It's, It's wearing on my mixer. I did have fun with my friends at the mall. What were you saying about the mall then? Oh, so I was trying to scene at the mall. And then, like, I've seen it, and there's a train there waiting for, like, the kids to hop on it, and the, the girl's there. And I'm like, is my singing good? I was trying to scene. And she was unamused. Which, that's the right answer. I was looking for unamused. I was looking for unamused. Always. The mall was so fun. Oh, my gosh, the mall was so fun. But I know we talked about it yesterday or the day before. A warrior cat confirming they are a girl. Okay, good to know. I never like to assume, and I don't know how people identify, so I try to be gender neutral. But once you confirm, I'll try to remember. I'm glad you went to the Pontiac Mills Mall. That's not what that there. says. Potom Potomac. Like Dang the river. The Potomac Mont Mills. Yes. It was really rad. So fun. I got a t-shirt. It's around here somewhere. I got like a t-shirt. the mall? I got a t-shirt at the mall at a Spencer's. But it was great. It felt like the 90s running around with my friends at the mall. And the mall was fully stocked and it wasn't crowded. We got to see the Easter Bunny. There was a full-on Easter Bunny sitting in there. And uh, we had like a little train that you could ride. And, and so many. So we had a piano store and there was like legit pianos in there. Like, wow. Were there Strawby brand pianos? Did you know Strawby is a brand of piano? I did not, actually. I did not know that. My brother found one for free on Marketplace. I think it was free. Jason can confirm or deny. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah and he that. was going to get it, but, like, then you're stuck with a piano, and, like, we're not piano playing people, so he wasn't really sure what to do with it. But, yeah, Strawby, my last name, is a brand of pianos. $40 for photos with a scary rabbit. Jeez, I'll dress like a scary rabbit, and you can take my picture for free. I got a picture of a scary rabbit. It wasn't scary, but, like, he was there. I didn't see one person the whole time. We were there, like... Well, no, because you went on a weekday, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was yeah, a Yeah, watch out for Saturdays when everybody's at the mall lining up. I used to work at the mall, I know. Okay, well, we're just going to have to go hands in. Adrian Kitty Husky got her Dan pin and put it on her Funko Pop display. Yay. She doesn't want to lose it again. Fair Good. enough. It was all kinds of... My friends were checking out Catan, of course. Look, we love Catan. Catan, Catan, Catan. <laughs> you already have it. Oh, yeah, there's me and the Easter buddy. I was like, there he is down there. I'll take my picture with him. I'll take my picture with him up here on the second floor. He's looking at me, too. He's mad. Ooh, just one Catan tonight. Shannon says in August, the whole mall goes on sale for back to school. It's great. Dude, look at this mall, though. Look at this. It is a real mall. Yeah, it is. It is a beautiful. It is beautiful I'm in there. I am disappointed in our local mall. It's in the next town over. And the last time we went there, like, I'm an adult now. I have money. I'm yeah, not a, a teenager. Like... I can buy whatever I want. And I'm like, I'm going to buy whatever I want. And I didn't buy anything. There was nothing I wanted in any of the stores there. There was a lot of stores there. Look at that. That's a, that is a lot of stores. That is a lot of yeah, stores. That's yeah. That's like 90s mall. Crystal, you would have liked it. You would have found something to buy. Probably. With that many stores, how could I not? Drea says, did you get the cat flat hat? Please say yes. I did not get the cat hat from the Skechers store. It didn't look right on me. It didn't sit on your head correctly. It didn't sit on my head right. It did not. I don't have a picture of that because it was on my stories. And it just disappears into the void forever like Snapchat? Yeah. Um, so yeah, Rat Rat Railroad, you were right to make a half a, a recipe. Um, this is a lot, and I had to go in with my hands because my mixer couldn't handle it anymore. It's getting really thick. I'm not sure why we have to make so much. I just got shoes, but not at the mall, but got pins and dorables at the mall. That's right. F. Ant says, did Topo let you home now? 
Is Topo happy to see you yet? He, you yeah, tired? Topo is. Actually, I haven't talked to him today. Where are you? Is he in his little thing still? Oh, he's still snoozing over there. In the basket? Yeah, uh, at least once or twice I've picked him up now and cuddled him, but I don't know, it's springtime. He's like jute charging up so him and Baxter can run around all the little bugs running around, I think. I can still feel it's dry at the bottom. I'm trying I to have, turn it over. I have these coupons, Crystal, for Hot Topic because we spent some money on Hot Topic. And, like, they're good for $15 off $30. and But they don't start until the 25th. I'm gone then, aren't I, until the 5th? Oh, shoot. Those no, are like that's, the days April, I'm done. that's April 25th. It's like a month from now? A month from now. Okay. Stick them on the fridge. All of them? Because that one's a different one. Is that still the same thing? This one was just a survey theme, which I did do the survey. But flip it over. What does it say? It, it's $15 it, it's off a future purchase. In March or February. It's like a three. Wait. That's March 18th. So that's now. That's now? Yeah. Until April 7th. So I want to try to go because of $15 off. Just this, says wait. go find me more black light door Yeah, okay, yes. Okay, that's the thing. But hold on. Future purchases of $50 or more is $15 off. But this one's $15 off $30. That's or a more. much better deal. Yes, but I was going to use them today to go and try to find no, the glow in the dark adorables. But then somehow, somewhere, some something saved me and said, Hey, Dan, you should look at that date again. And I did and realized while I was walking out the door that it's not right. Which I need you to get me the big glass bowl. Sure. Um, like so all the way on the bottom. I can't that. use it, but I'm trying to, I need to find Jesse's glow in the dark thing. So I might just have to go anyway. We were going to go today. But it like it took like forty five minutes in a good way. It took forty five minutes for that dude to like unearth Blank um, to where he <laughs> is now. Like there was so much oh, of his hair out all over point. the ground. You'll have to come out and say something, show off. Um, um, is that a mooch lump showing on the mixer cam? Yes, that Dan just turned away. Yes, that is mooch sleeping on his bed. He's done with our crap. Look there's there. no cream cheese yet, but yeast. I assure you he'll wake up as soon as I pour There's you guys. Um, careful, but I can just careful. I can just go over there and look, period, and see if they're just there, there, and buy them. Careful still. I know you just want them. So what's happening here? We just needed a bigger bowl. Yeah, I couldn't get down to the bottom where, like, the dry bits were, so I needed more space. Yes, and bring them to Canada. I will trade you a Hot Wheels. Well, I think, like, you have a bunch of Pittsburgh Penguin stuff. Dan, uh, Jason, it's not too thick because too much flour. That's how much. I counted three one cups. I will trade you a Hot Wheels. And three quarter cups. It was right. It's too thick because I hear it in Jason's voice. <laughs> Okay, I can trade you that too. You have Hot Wheels to trade me? Now you're making oh, yeah, me you second guess one. myself, but I even ah uh, ah uh, odd. I counted it right, and then it was one, and I recounted the one in my head before I counted the two, but now I'm questioning myself. <sighs> Little brothers are the worst. Drea Katie Husky says box lunch is the best place to get, get get Disney stuff. I don't know if we have that here. Afriel confirming that the last dupe recipe did the same thing. I thought so. The crumble cookies are always... It's a graham cracker thing, so that's... Take out your anger on it. There's also two and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs with the three and three quarter cups flour. So it is a very dry cookie, but it's going to have cream cheese all over it. Don't LOL at me. I'm going to fight you. That looks kinetic, sandily satisfying. It's not really, and it's kind of hurting my wrists. Yeah, it, it has to be thick. It This is right. It's just stupid. Yeah, and five cups of sugar. Just stupid little brother stuff. Just trying to make yeah, me doubt gonna myself. You're going to wear out your hands. I am. It's only like 7.30. You, <laughs> you still have like a lot of night left. I do, and I want to finish my Mario Wonder game. I'm so close to done. Hey, get no, out. you're going to be running around all like noodle hands. I am. I think we're getting towards good. I'm just trying to make sure there's no Dang. bits. She's got butter pits and cookie tips. It's like... <laughs> Shut up. What's wrong with her? Carpal tunnel from breaking, from baking. Yeah, right? probably. Uh, yeah. Alfred says we need to get Crystal another mixer so she can half and half the dupe recipes. Right. right? Don't you want, like... Don't you... Do you need a stud? No, because you don't wash your hands very well. Well, I, I don't need that you. to call one. Just, like, I could just use oh, my phone. Oh, I see. I, I see. just... Uh, what's the best way to break graham crackers into pieces? You buy them uh, that way. I use my fist or a book to do that. Yeah, I, I buy graham cracker crumbs. Uh, you know, using your fist, Rhea, though, is very, like, cathartic. Like, you could just, like, you could just beat it into, like... Absolutely. You know. Take your anger out however yeah. you have to. <laughs> Doris, uh, campaigning for vodka for Crystal. Soon. 
There's a good bottle of wine in there. If you want yeah, it. I did have some mango wine. I can get you glass if you'd like. Oh, just went back and looked. Thank you, friend. You're the best. I did three and three quarter cups. Thank you. That was correct. Ah, oh, food processor works for crumbing them. Okay, I didn't think about that. I just I always have such a hard time, and the, they're not consistent. When you buy them in a box, it's always consistently ground up. I think sleep is going to be optional tonight. Sirens have not stopped the entire broadcast. You want to know what's funny? Don't hear them. Like they happen so Look, often. Now that, like, she mentions it, I think there was a siren, but we tune it out. The only time it's really bothersome is when it's too loud, like when we're watching TV and it drowns out the sound of the TV, uh, usually, like, in the summertime when the doors and windows are open. But, yeah, we tune it out. And what sucks is our bedroom is on this side of the house. And what's our backyard, like, 20 feet away from the busy street? So, yeah, good times. But, yeah, I mostly don't hear it. Uh, this is the second or third I heard for this stream. Welcome to Lancaster. Uh, Melissa, hi Melissa, uh, says she puts them in a Ziploc and then rolls all over them with a rolling pin or buy them like I do in a box. Yeah, I, I just, look man, I don't have the patience for that. I gotta put these back in the freezer, but I got these at Costco today. We Let's So Blake drugs me over and he goes, Dad, you gotta come have a sample of this. And I'm like, alright, because Blake's always grabbing the samples, right? And then, oh, Do you you're want hungry, one? huh? Yeah, it's 350 right now, we can okay. throw them in. Does Blake want one? Yes. Yeah, yeah make up pupusas. These are awesome. Shoot. Um, they were frying them, like, on the griddly type thing. Oh. Like, he was just frying them up. Like, real Should quick. I fry them or should I oven them? I would... I, I don't have time to oven them. I'm making or to fry them. I'm making cookies. Do you want them in the oven? How long does it take in the oven? It doesn't. It's stovetop. I was reading the stovetop instructions. No, Sorry. Let me just make you some of the stovetop right now. It says you, you, you cook it up like a quesadilla on the stovetop. That's what he was doing on that little griddle there. Preheat a nonstick pan over medium heat. Remove carton. Empty pupusas from pouch and separate. Place one pupusa. In the skillet and heat for four to six minutes. Flip every two minutes. Let it sit for one minute and enjoy. Yes, look, you should make them. They were so good. They were so good. So I ate a bite and I grabbed a box and just thunk and threw them in the cart. But Crystal hasn't had food. I've never had pupusas either. And, and Carlos, who I used to work with, always told me that I would love pupusas. Crystal also didn't eat before the stream like you were supposed to. You, for, you went to the store and you got back and all of a sudden you're like, I'm going to do this. And then we forgot. We should probably get some food in you. Probably. Oh, what an what a episode. Okay, there's a lot of things. You're here for it. Uh, Scott just checked Pulse Point and multiple medical aids and plane crash up in the mountains off the 14. Wow. What happened? Oh, did you hear that? Oh. oh. Did somebody just buy something? I heard that. Oh, wait, it's in my pocket. A Rat Rod Railroad said, must have mm -hmm. portioned wrong. I got one of the six that is smaller. Um, I think usually when I make them, I end up with extra cookies. Okay, sir. Okay, if you are watching and you place the order right now, I gotta watch out because I don't want to be giving out Batman Bruce Wayne names. But I did get your order. Thank you very much. Can I see Bruce Wayne? Yes. Hey, Blake, come over here. We're making pupusas! Thank you. Uh, Andrea says I have to buy a rolling pin. Use anything heavy. Like, literally use a book. Use your hands, like anything. Literally anything will work. Hi Easton, how are you doing tonight? Oh, you strained a Thank muscle you. in your leg. That is a sad story. You should go get a massage. That is a sad story. <laughs> Dan hates it when I tell him it's a sad story. So what happened? We stopped baking to cook pupusas, right? Or we're, we're, we're multitasking with pupusas. We are multitasking, but I don't trust Dan to get that done, so you just stay out of the way. No, you'll, you'll cook them up, and they'll be like, like you're going to put something on there, right? Like oil or something like on there? Like a little... No, I did not say to. Oh, okay. But like, he was flat panning, but oh, yeah, they were... They were it's they a nonstick pan, so it should be okay. Okay, yes, okay, so I got the order... Come show 
off your new haircut. Everybody's waiting for you. Look, Blake's alive. He's uh, he's he's hatched from underneath his Monchichi <laughs> cocoon. What do you have for us today, Blake? What what's going on? Fresh out that yet? In your hands, Blake. All of a sudden, has been dragon making. You gotta show that like up close. I can't. Oh, I've is lost mouse not working again? Oh, here it is. There it is. Mm. You should take that one I offered you guys. Blake's been dragon making. I don't know what's going on here. I think it's just it's this is probably more of the weaker looking ones that you've made. Uh, those are pretty cool though. There's been dragons and dragon eggs. The dragons go with dragon eggs. Um, cook with me, yes. Mm. It actually, I uh, he created the label yesterday, yeah? Yours items and have shipped, yes. I handed it to the mail, mail lady today. Yes, Ow. so it should be there. I think it said the delivery was Monday. Thank you. It sucks you ordered them like the day I left for out of town and then like we got them printed though and they're out. Jason says, looking fresh, Brother Hezekiah. <laughs> he got the beard trimmed up too with a straight razor and everything. No, I never experienced a straight razor. Were you terrified? No. The dude that's fresh, I'm not worried he's going to cut me. Not even a little bit? No. Dan, I need that to move. I mean like, I've never even cut myself shaving before, so like... Yeah, but a straight razor is different. Yeah, but like... Like, what if there was an earthquake when he was shaving you? Oh my gosh, I love it. What if there was an earthquake? Then it was going to be Sweeney Todd for sure. <laughs> for, right. every, for everybody. Where are we located? We're in LA. Or Lanc mm -hmm. Lancaster. Like, <laughs> LA County? Uh, California. Melissa wants to know if you were looking for the orange bag of Doritos. Wait, from like years ago? Yeah, that's, that's still around. Is I've it? I've never seen it. I've never seen I've it. I don't know what the, what was the flavor. Uh, like extra cheese. Oh, just the regular Doritos. They're there in the shelter, white and orange, no. and brown bag. No, right? no, no, no. No. It, it was, was some specific flavor from years yeah. ago that he was looking for. And, and it's a thing that like exists around, cause like, but just not here. My, I've had my friends tell me that they see it in the store all the time. Wilton, no, it prints just like that. It's all like laced up against each other. Grab a cooler one real quick. Bring me a cooler one. Grab like. some different ones. So this one he showed me, it's like crystals. Like, see how that's crystals? And then like each layer, but, it's it's crystals. Yeah, the way it 3D prints. Uh, Heather had a friend who lived in Lancaster for a yeah. while. I'm sorry for your friend. Oh, maybe we know your friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that small. One taco though. flavor? Yeah, it's like taco flavor. Was it taco flavor, Blake? The, the Doritos? No, not taco flavor ones. They were like extra cheese flavored Doritos. Excuse me, I need, I need you to move your baking show. No, that's not happening. I already got family members asking for color, uh, a red one. <laughs> I, I thought that one was really yeah, Fanth wants to know if you can make the dragons in the color of the Wings of Fire original five dragons. I think we I can pick, I think we can pick the color. You chose these two colors. Yes. Yeah, so we can pick the colors. Like, uh, Amanda says, nice haircut, things. can I buy a blue dragon? <laughs> Yes, I think they're dragons that come in eggs. We we're gonna like mystery them, but like Blake just started printing. Like this is what happened when I got back from from uh, Virginia. Like I this, have, I have like twenty dragons to print. Yeah, are you? Ready? Yeah, he's backed up on orders for the dragons. Eventually, we'll probably list these on the Etsy store. But right now, he's got pre-orders from uh, the the uh, craft fair thingies he goes to. Uh, Heather B says her friend's ex-husband may have made the news for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> Sounds like Lancaster. I mean, like, mm -hmm, on brand. Mm -hmm. that's right on brand with our town. Is there really a wrong reason to be on the news? <laughs> like, doesn't I say like no publicity is bad or any publicity? I don't remember. Uh, Cook with me wants to know if you could make a quarter holder keychain in the shape of a cat. Probably not. He's still but... working on learning how to make his own designs, so he's getting designs from other people. Um, so it just depends upon some if something like that is available. Uh, Dr. Bob wants to know if you can print with glow in the dark filament. I do have glow in the dark filament. Yes. I can do that, yes. So, what goes on pupusas? Is it like a sour cream, hot sauce? What like this? Huh? Is it this? Oh, like cheddar. you eat it like a nope. taco? I don't think so. Let me, let me, it, maybe it, might it, be that. it was not this one. Let me, let me look at the, I still have this the picture on my phone. This is what Melissa from Burbank sent me. Uh, Hilo the Husky wants a husky. I think he was looking to see if he could find a file. He hadn't found a husky right. file yet. But I just get I just got your bowl order on Etsy right now, so we'll make sure those get filled before I leave. We ordered more <clears throat> bowls, and those showed up today, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'll make sure those go before I leave Wednesday for Canada, because I have to make the files with the name sticks and stuff. 
I'm gonna go choke over here for a second. Oh, what's in a pupusa? <coughs> These are just cheese. I'll show you guys. Hold on, I'm trying to multitask here. They were so good. Blake, like I said, Blake drunk me over there to have a sample. They are ultimate cheddar. So this is from, this picture is from 2019. I took this picture at okay. a so that's, gas station. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Why didn't you buy them? Because I didn't think that it was like, uh, I didn't realize it said limited time only on all right. it. Oh. So are you still trying so to So those like, are probably not available because it was limited time in 2019. Melissa said ultimate cheddar. They have them at Sam's Club. Guess who's got a Sam's Club card? Not you. Patty. She Guess does. what? Sam's Club doesn't have it. <laughs> no? When I was when I was at Sam's Club last, it did. It wasn't there. How much for this bag right here? An open bag? None. Is uh, it open? Is that what's on the top of chip clip? Oh, so it's it folded like down. Open. I It is. You should sell it per chip. Jess says that Jamie's done a lot of searching for Husky Files, and most of them are not shaped right. Uh, Jason says the cat food bowl is awesome. Uh, we sent him one for his old man cat. He says old man BB is very thankful for it. Yes, it definitely helps the cats to be able to uh, we, we really eat do like higher. them. Yeah. Dan, Shannon says if you had brought the light switches, she would have bought some. If I had brought the light switches? The light switches? The... Yes, Blake. I think you might have to... Oh, uh, no, because I'm only going to Canada. I don't know anybody that's going to be at the... Toronto Pet Expo in the thing, but I did have a couple people ask me for the light switch things if I had any, but I was giving away some of your free stuff. Uh, I was because I brought I brought three D printed stuff to like just to kind of give out, and people ask for that. Jennifer wants to know if the real crumble cookies are really that big. Yes, ma'am, they are. Yeah, they are like stupid big. They are so big that they sell a cutter to cut them into fourths, and a serving size is probably like one bite. Yeah, it's gonna be like. Like you know, you're gonna like pull, like you're gonna grab a cookie. It's like a, it's enough. <laughs> it's definitely enough. Uh, Amanda says, if you ever make dog sized dish, let me know. Do you want to address that? You know. Oh no, yes. Okay, I wanted to Amanda because I didn't like. I think we gave an answer because you asked that like a couple weeks ago, and then we talked about it off the stream. It it can't. It's like at like it's no. The cats that I get and it's small, anything bigger than that, you need to get that like cool metal one, you know, the one that goes like up and down with the dog thing on it. Yeah, it, dogs are a little rough on things. This is fine, but that's that's not gonna happen for the dog at all. Uh, it's just not. Uh, El Diablo wants to know if RFS stands for something. Yes, it mm -hmm. does. It stands for Random Friend Squad. When you have time later, go check out Random Friend Squad YouTube channel and look at the videos. RFSJ is my brother. Him and Dan and a couple other friends used to do videos where everybody would do the same topic each week and each one of them would do a different day of the week and make a video. And there's a lot of really funny stuff on there. Really funny. Jess says raised dog dishes allows them to gulp too much air. Uh, uh, so it's not good for the dogs? That's not, so it's not good for the dog thing. Today, uh... Today, uh... Stripers was trying to eat his food down, and it, like, it kept falling out of his mouth, and I got him the little bull stand on it, and, like, he had a much easier time trying to, like, gulp the, gulp the food. Dan, you were right. This smells just like when we make the quesadillas with the corn tortillas <coughs> and the Mexican cheese. It was excellent. It was excellent it at the Costco. It smells just like that. Uh, Jess said, cats do really well with a slightly raised angled dish, but raised dog dishes can cause issues. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not educated in that, so thanks like for telling us. Also, like it just, like, the dogs just push it over. It just didn't. Mm -hmm. It's just not. Uh, Wilton says, plus RFSJ has a YouTube channel with lots of cool videos on it. Yeah, he's got kids now and, and not a whole lot of time between kids and wife and job. But uh, he does have some good videos you know, on there from back in the day. I want to say you have at least a hundred. You you hit a hundred vlogs, right? He did a lot. I like and it because like, like his random friend squad videos. Some of them were so hilarious. They were, they were you good. should really go check out random friend squad. Anybody out there, if you have not, there's a lot of really good stuff on there. It was like during a time where we had a lot of fun doing stuff without it being fake. Yes. We didn't make like fake content at all. We weren't we, pranking anybody. We had a, just a lot of fun doing a lot of fun but things. But every week you guys came up so with a fun. different idea yeah. with just hilarity. Jason was just making it in his apartment. Like, it was just, he was just in the room doing stuff and it was a lot of, it was a lot of fun. The recreate the fun. viral video was really good. The Bean Boozle challenge was really good. The science experiment video that you did was good. Okay, I think these are good. I kept them a little longer than it said. Okay, well, well like why better. don't we just cut one open uh, first? It says to let it sit for okay. a minute. Before you do the rest, to make sure you don't have to cook them more. I think it's I, good. Okay. They started to puff up a little bit. Okay. So I think they're good. I was so excited. I'm like, I'm getting them. Like, 
I'm like trying to treat myself a little bit lately of like if you see something like you should just do it and then so that was like why not okay so then we're gonna flatten these to about one inch thick oh yeah look at how perfect the camera is over here yay side cam Jason says the Rick Roll. It was good. It was good stuff. You leave Britney alone. So good. The Rick Roll was good. You were the best Chris Crocker since Chris Crocker. I think I was. Who's first. not Chris Crocker anymore, by the way? No. No. Even though the internet like knows Chris Crocker, no, uh, I don't remember. He he changed his name um, and his gender. Um, I don't remember his new name. I don't remember, but he'll always be Chris Crocker to me. Like, in my mind, at that time period, that was Chris Crocker who made that video, and it was amazing. And so genuine. We, we made, we froze it, we froze t-shirts, and we had to, like, we had to, like, take the shirt apart and get a shirt on. Um, the Beer oh. and Bug says, I don't know if it was an RFS vid, but Dan's one-man Harlem Shake was awesome. That was a Random Friend Squad video as well. And I didn't know what I was doing editing-wise and stuff, so that's why I like that video, because it was so, like... You could, you could tell the ability that I had, which was, like, not very good. All right, fun. we're going to cook these 10 to uh, 13 minutes. The science videos came from there. Uh, Alexa, set a 10-minute I think we all had to walk on Lego or, like, or like I think we had to write. We wrote letters to each other and mailed letters to each other. With that challenges. Challenges. Yes. We blended up. Oh, we had to eat a piece of bread that was just soaked in water. Dude, That you guys want to have a fun challenge with your family at home? Just get... A plate, barely put just a little bit of water on there, like floating water, but put a little bit of floating water on there and take a piece of like white bread and set it on top of there and be like, eat the bread. And you just. Oh. <laughs> uh, Jason says he has like 120 vlogs. Wow. Yeah, you should check out. You should check it out. You should put a. Jay, you're a mod. You should put a link. You should have put a link there. I probably want sour cream because if I have any excuse to put sour I just want to make sure these are cooked if we don't have to put them on there enough, so. Well, then cut one open and see. No, I'll let you do it. Yeah, well, there's no way I could eat wet bread. Some of that stuff was just off limits. I didn't like that. And it's so simple, though. It's just a little bit of moisture on the bread. But, like, it's not right. It's healthy. When you eat it, it was all spongy. And, like, it, like, sponged in your mouth. It was so... I will tear the... Part of a bun, like if part of a bun gets well, too wet, I will tear it off and I won't eat it. Uncle Yukon's got it though. The what? only good wet bread is French toast. Absolutely, but you dry it when you cook it. Uh, uh, what are those? So these are pupusas. Yeah, Blake had a sample at the Costco Where did and they come from? came. Oh, Dan. And came and found me. I can't just put it there. Yeah, he came and found oh. me and we got him. So it's corn masa, which is the same sort of stuff uh, tamales are made out of. And it's stuffed with queso con rajas, which is Monterey Jack cheese and green chilies. Are we still on over here? So, uh, kind of like a quesadilla type thing, but Blake. More, quesadilla meets tamal. Blake is ready. We need to like, Shop our freezer for a while and okay. just, just eat what's in the freezer and, and get that emptied. They're hot. Chris says, okay, damn it. Listening to you guys while streaming, listening to you guys stream while I'm driving is just not acceptable. You all missed out on like 87 sarcastic comments and inappropriate quips, but I'm home now, so let, let the fun resume. You better call my phone and I'd put you on speakerphone. <laughs> you would have. Oh, Afriel says it sucks being allergic to chilies because they can't eat awesome stuff like that. I'm sure there are options that don't come with chilies. Like, they're probably white people ones, right? Oh, Greg is here. Happy birthday, Greg. Greg, happy I birthday. I hope you're enjoying your birthday. Let's get tattoos of Greg. <laughs> Jason put a link and then said, I think, tattoos of Greg? Yeah, like, in different <laughs> stages of Greg. No, I'm good. We had so much fun at the museum. <laughs> what are the different stages of Greg? Please enlighten me. Um, when I met him, he had longer hair. And then he shaved his head and grew a beard with a picture with him and the alligator. Just said Greg has a tattoo. And then now I think he's, now I think he's trimmed Greg. Very good, but very dry. Definitely needs some sour cream.
They're good. Yeah, there's Jay's a link. I posted a link to the channel. What is that a link to? Is that one specific video? Um, does that leave Britney alone? Is it? You guys should click that link because, like, I don't know if Jay's ever posted a link. It's been years since, like, anybody's, like, summoned anything out of RFSJ. So you guys really should, like, leave. You can leave for a little bit. We're, we're just eating. eating pupusas. Yeah, you should go <laughs> just, like, click it and just go watch for a few minutes and come back. We're not going anywhere for, like... There's still six. There's still six more minutes before it comes. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say six more hours. <laughs> Tell your Alexa to set a six-minute timer and go watch some of his stuff. Uh, he says that's the whole channel. There's 138 vlogs. Go comment on them if you watch them. Give, so him, way, give him a thumbs up. That way, Jason can see. And then come back in like six minutes. Don't let me keep my shower cream. I looked over to see if my team won, and the other team, like, every every screen on this thing, like, says win, so we lost. <laughs> we super lost. Oh, I don't think I have any tea in here. No tea? We could make you tea. I have... I There's no room tea. in this refrigerator for anything. I bought back some awesome tea from the... Wait, do you some milk? I brought back awesome tea from the tea lady. I bought another gallon because I thought we already started the second one, and now there's too much. These are good, but they tasted a tiny bit better at the Costco. Oh. Did he cook them up better than I did? Uh-huh. Oh, hey, Dan. I thought you were about to flip me off. Oh, uh, is Husky Mount Bronico here? Um, if we say her name two more times, Husky Mount Bronico might show up. Husky Mount Bronico, Husky Mount Bronico! Red Ted, thank you all. We have... Refrigerated now. Oh, uh, yeah. Lehigh Valley Cream Soda, which is very you red. You might want in on this, Blake. And... Cutstown Sars Sar Sarsaparilla. Uh, here listening and still baking. Yay, we're about to try your things. But hold on, because I need another bite because I'm starving. I uh, took a nap instead of eating lunch today. Like some class or something. Mm. I mean, we're all family. We can just drink out of it, no? I mean, I'm trained by you. Like, this is... What did you do with Crystal? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Are we trying things? Yeah, uh, Wilton, yes, Wilton met RFSJ in real life and is in one of his videos. <laughs> it touched my nose. Ew. All right, this is the cream soda. I think some came from Alec. Mm, I think these were both Husky Mombronica, weren't they? Yes, that's the, the label on there is yes. And I did take pictures. Oh, that's good cream soda. I love cream soda. I don't drink soda, but root beer and cream soda are amazing. Cream soda is so much better than root beer. It's no. got like a softer flavor. You don't like it? No, like I like it, but cream soda is not better than root beer. Oh, I like the, the you softer want You want something with you in there? Mm -hmm. Do you want to try the sarsaparilla? Yeah. Oh yeah, see which one. Terry's you... back! Oh, hi, Terry. Terry, I miss you. Aw. <laughs> this Terry. is like a stronger root beer, if I remember correctly. That's good. I like the cream soda better. That is a strong root beer. Oh, uh, wait, I'm sorry, you guys. You should yell like, full screen kit. You guys had a direct at home, too, since you're the ones that have to watch. Sorry. I'll take this one there we go. There's us and not just like food blow. Up a bit so you don't get so much foam. You want that one? Okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay. And, better yeah, than and you fill soda. it up. Like, take, take as much as you want. All right, let me try this one. Bring it here! Push it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Also at home, like, we're just shoving food in our mouth here. Can you tell me we've been live streaming for a lot of years? Did you still make cream soda? Oh yeah, hold on, I wanted to try some. Do you like this one? I like them both. I like cream soda flavor better. Ooh, yay, that's fun. Let me wash it down. Oh my god, all within sugar. like one minute. Terry's here, Brittany's here, Ma's here. Hello friends, thank you Brittany for the super chat. We are eating pupusas that Dan got at Costco today because I took a nap instead of eating lunch today. And I am starving, and we've already been out this almost two hours, and my cookies are still in the oven. While well, we're at it, Shannon, should we go through some stuff, or while we're hanging out? Might as well, because we should wrap this I up. I have to take the cookies out, and then let them cool, and then make the filling. Oh, okay, then we'll wait a minute. No, but, like, it's already... Well, okay, let me say some things here. Lady JD13 sent us a card, and I waited till I got home, and Crystal and I opened it and read it, and thank you so much. And you were so awesome. Oh my gosh, like, you were so awesome. I wish Crystal got to meet you. 
But I showed her uh, photos and stuff and told her all the good stories. Thank you. Corinne also sent... <laughs> Oh, Crin made out a Christmas card for us right, <laughs> right there in front of us, so she could get the um, the cookie card sent to her. Before Dan leaves for his next trip, I just don't want you guys. To uh, I think off. it's Warrior Cat and Corinne. We're gonna try to get those cards out to you. That is that is my goal. And then Shannon sent a bunch of Hot Wheels for the league. Yay! Socks for you. Oh and a, yes. And a mystery Shannon, box if, to if open you, yes, on she stream is here. that I did hear to your wishes. Like I like kept it like. Like it was, uh, like it was like Dungeons and Dragons time. Like I had it wrapped in a towel, and then like I had it in my pocket. I only ate like chunks of bread. And I held it there, and I, I took it with me all the way home. And here it is. I don't know what it is, but it was to be open on stream. When uh, I'm done eating, I will only open it. if she's here, which I think I see her right there. Oh, uh, Crystal the Animal Lover never got her card, probably because my Christmas card got lost in the mail. You oh, like we never got yours. Send us your address. Just, yeah, yeah, send me, just message me your address. I'll send you one. Uh, Daisy's Gaming, did you change the spelling? Just to throw us off. Uh, just got off work. 11 p.m. is way too late these days. Aw. Mom wants to know, who's that handsome fella with a haircut and a trim beard? Oh, I'd I know, make him huh? come out here again, but he's in class. Um, he, uh, he, he got a really good, like, barbershop haircut today with, like, straight razors and everything. He looks so good. His girlfriend was happy. Oh my gosh, this sarsaparilla is amazing. Wow, what a good day. I fan plus know if it's better than the Butterbeer at Universal. I don't know about that. No, but like, they could sell it right alongside with that. Oh my god. Oh my gosh! <laughs> my pancakes were not this big. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Alexa, set a two-minute timer. I made pancakes for dinner last night. Starting now. They were not as big as these cookies are. There's got to be, a, there's the next size up from pancakes. Oh mm. my gosh. Oh my god. This is, oh my gosh. This is comical. <laughs> is Blake doing online classes too? I don't know if him and his friends are all like on the Discord doing study stuff. The, yeah, he like, they but do he, homework study group stuff together. All his classes are like, he goes to class. He goes to class and he's like in like the STEM program and the after school fun things and electronic -y doodads so they're always maybe it's a like me maybe it's a group meeting for that or something do you want sour cream after school um yeah i tried a little bit on here what do you think these things are pretty dang good they are and a little uh, bit look bread and cheese you won me over a little bit better at the costco um like i felt like um it didn't taste i don't know it just tasted a tiny bit better but these were really good these taste pretty authentic Go, Crystal, go! Shove that, shove that in your mouth. Sorry, everybody. I want to try them. And I just keep backing away from the microphone. <laughs> I want to try them, like, from a street taco place now. That was good. Now everybody's ALE because has a timer. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sometimes I forget about that part. Get it, Mooch. Go, Mooch. Look how active this old bag of bones is. Can you do it? No, I won't make Dale you do says, it. Dale says, so he's one of the smart kids then. Oh yeah, Blake's really smart. Jess says, I think they would be good with enchilada sauce. Good news! We just had enchiladas the other night and Dan has already requested more. Blake's still part Dan though, but um, he's really smart. Uh, and Jeff, he chooses... Jeff wants to know if you're tired of flying yet. He chooses education and that's crazy. Like, he like chooses to go learn more and he chooses to like wonder why. And so I was crazy. just like, like what's on the surface? Am, am I tired of flying yet? Yes. Oh my gosh. I was just thinking about that. Alexa, stop. Yes, I absolutely am. I absolutely don't want to get on another airplane. That being said, by the time Wednesday comes around, I am ready to rock and roll. But yeah, the night that I got home, I was laying in bed and I was like, no. But I've been so excitable. So the flight home this time was like one of the top three easiest flights home, especially since they're like, you're going to have lots of turbulence. And then we did it. And then I had some nice leg room, and then, I don't know, I just felt good. It, like, I felt good leaving. I had a really good day on Monday uh, when we went to the, to the uh, uh, D.C. thingy. I had a really good day. So I was all excited coming back home, so the flight didn't, like, bother me too much. And I think I'm getting better at flying, so, like, none of the anxiety or the things that lead up or the wait time or anything feel new to me. Like, what's that bump? Like, I know that bump. Or like, I know what's gonna happen next and I know they're gonna make me check my bag. And I know that I, like, I know the things now. So like the flying doesn't feel much more than like a car ride. 
So the anxiety from that is not as much as as like the first few trips. So I'm like eat it like like I'm seasoned at it. So yeah, so it's Toronto and back. So in in a month, I'll have gone across the country and back six times. Six times. All right. Wait till you guys see this. Passport checked in. Yes, thank you. It is sitting. It has made it now out of he the back room, it. and it's onto my desk. But still, passport checked me because it's still got to make it into my bag. Watch out, Dan. Oh my god. You want a second trip it? Yeah. Okay, hold on. You guys gotta see this. Um, but no, I am having a great time. Okay, I'm making my next batch smaller because these are literally bigger than my pants. I don't even need a side cam. Look at look at how big they are. These are ginormous. Crumble cookies are not quite this big. <laughs> Can we get so something big. for scale? Like <laughs> your hand? There's some bananas for scale. Oh my like, gosh. Uh, yeah, it's. They're so big. <laughs> hey, do you have any more of that pupusa left? No, and if I did, I'd be eating it. So, uh, I gotta let these cool for a few minutes before I can put them on uh, a cooling rack. But, uh, next batch is gonna be a little bit smaller. <laughs> Alright. Whoa. What is Blake going to school for? Uh. Computer science. -y nerdy computer -y things. <laughs> I don't know. The other day he had parts out because he was making an autonomous RC car or something. Do you want this in the fridge? Yeah. Uh, rah, 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 it says, mine smell amazing. Yes, the, the graham cracker smell is amazing. Holy freaking cow, they're like pot lid sized. Oh, for sure. Uh, yeah, they're pretty our, big. Our like average sized pot that you would make like a can of soup in. Only slightly smaller. Yeah, they're big. They're really big. <laughs> You have massive frequent flyer miles, yeah, except for you need like two commas to do anything with these miles. Yes. Um, and the miles don't even do anything really. They like get you like free Wi Fi. Um, but it's cool. Sometimes the people I sit next to are rad. Sometimes people go to sleep. Uh, on the way back, the, there was nobody sitting next to me, which, which was nice. Okay. Shannon sent me gifts. Yes. This one's not hidden. So I'm going to start with this one. So it's a pair of socks, but inside the socks. <laughs> Is a magnet that oh says... Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Cats welcomed, people tolerated. I did know that, and she warned me, but I, I did already know that, because I That's was being cute. careful. You didn't warn oh, me, to make sure it didn't fall Did out. you have to, like... Did you get a rundown list of what was coming back, just to make sure it all... No, but she told me there was something in. inside the socks, so be careful that it didn't fall out. But it was packaged very well, so yeah, good job, She Shannon. totally could have said that to me as well. You see, I talked to him, I'm and then he asked the question about the thing I just said. I'm there. Um, super cute, definitely going on the fridge. I mean, my 23 me might say that my dad is, like... Part like Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz, but you know, but every you know, how could you not like Dan? I was normal three cats ago. That's cute that you think I was normal three cats ago. <laughs> That's the only cat we haven't had yet that I really want. The is, tortoise is, shell is the like yeah. Super you want a tortoise shell or I want a the calico super cat? Yeah. These are super cute and super cushy feeling. Love it. Thank yeah, those you. are the correct socks. Thank you. If you guys are new here, I have a huge picture sock collection, and I always much appreciate picture socks. These are adorable, and I love them. Thank you. Okay, now. Yeah, Cheryl, I'll keep on uh, collecting my frequent flyer miles, and then one day uh, I'll fly for free, or I'll get an upgrade to first class, which I heard was disappointing. All right. Are you ready mm -hmm. for my secret gift? I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I just saw what it was. <laughs> <laughs> me like the old rave days. Wait, no, it's not a ring. Uh, if you guys watch Dantex, you'll get this. Uh, she made us bi Big Mountain Sugarloaf bracelets. <laughs> oh my god, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up and give me mine. Yes. Yes. I love you, Shannon. That's hilarious. That is the, the <laughs> best, most creative thing I you could have not, possibly done. I did not open it up or anything. Didn't see it coming at all. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, I've never taken mine off. Oh, you're the best. I love that. <laughs> Thank is you for this, the laugh. Is this not, look at, could you look at it? Is this not, break, could I just wear this or is it like breakable? Because I can't be walking through the airport and oh. having sugar loaf running around. 
Um, I mean, it'll it'll hold up. <laughs> you, yeah, I mean, it's it's sturdy. Oh enough. my gosh! As long as you don't pull it too tight. Hi, I'm sorry. Are you feeling left out? I am totally worried. This Where's yours? Bring yours back over here. This is the greatest thing. Oh my gosh! I love you, Shannon. <laughs> I can't wait for Adele to see it because I know she got the biggest kick. Uh, Shannon says, Toby and I were making bracelets and I had to. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you're and the best. Use all the vowels too. Like, you know, <laughs> like, they always like give you a misproportioned bag of letters. Crystal has a freezer bag full of letters. Literally, literally full of letters. And all the these. S's are gone because there's never enough S's. Yeah. Yes. Uh, VR Bucks is real laugh crying right now. Oh, same friend. Absolutely the same. Uh, I'm so excited. This is great. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Oh, shit. So you did uh, mention it. Um, Lady KD13 sent us a card and a, a real-life super chat to uh, buy us dinner. So much appreciated to Lady KD13. Very thoughtful of you, and thank you for, for supporting us and being our friend. And I'm so disappointed I did not get to meet you. Uh, Cleo says, now they're engaged. They are. <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah. <laughs> are we committed? Do I have to, like, stay with him? Uh, this summer, by the way, will be our 20th anniversary. I don't know if you are I know. Uh, we thinking about that. Maybe you could do something nice for me. What's 20 years? What's the 20 year anniversary gift? I hope it is, is the big mound. Get- <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> uh, Shannon says we open extra letters to find all the letters. So you know the struggle. That's you what I'm it. saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, I was like, my bag is full of like X's and F's and like <laughs> other things. Yeah, the bag's huge. Yeah, we'll have the. <laughs> I have a lot of letters. Um, the keychains that I make that a lot of you guys now have um, that say RFS fam, I used to make them for like uh, astrological signs and sell them at the gas station. So I bought tons of uh, letters and I have I have tons. Wait, 20th anniversary? Can I officiate the celebration? Do we need an officiant? Is it that kind of celebration? I mean, you got to come know. out to host the show. It's true. Can, can we go on an anniversary vacation and you stay and take care of the cats and host the show? Does Ooh. that work? I'll just turn on the live stream in the corner and you could just hang out for like three days. Just as traditional as China, modern as platinum. Boring! No, I want something better. I could get my, I could get some Post Malone's on my teeth. No, no, I don't want that. Like Lego? What year do you get Lego? I know, right? <laughs> Right? What year is a year of iRacing subscription? <laughs> Those are pricey. We need to make a modern list. Those are pricey. You're, you're talking platinum is modern. That doesn't sound modern enough. Whoa. All right. I'm going to need another cooling rack because this is ridiculous. Why would you let me make these so big? So, guys. the snacks... Oh, my... <laughs> Why would you let me do this? Well, I don't the, the recipe literally says to make them half cup size. You watch. I measured it. Lady JD13 says OMG. I, I apologize. You were so sweet. I apologize, Lady JD13. I apologize for anything that I do. <laughs> Oh my what? gosh. I don't know what it's we're like, supposed to do with it's this. It's the size of my face. Can I use that for scale? Watch out. I'll turn it into Crystal's head. <laughs> Just like the cinnamon toast crunch thing. Uh, Jason said he was thinking that my balls were pretty big. I know, but it said to use a half a cup. It said so. I, I need, didn't I even... Need th- out of the way, honestly, I didn't even think to check it. Well, we have to... Okay, we'll get back to more stuff here in a second. Yeah, because I need to get more in here. So nobody's going to bed yet. You go to bed if you want. Watch it later. I don't what? care. I'm still you, you, you need to go to bed. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Do you need to go to bed? Is it past whoa. your bedtime? It's what? Why? I missed the voice way. of the jeepers. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! It's like you got a pack pellet, and I'm one of those. Ghosts. All right, we're gonna try a quarter cup this time. Half a cup was a little ridiculous. <laughs> Jane said, "Hey yo, two person cookies. We're gonna lady in the trampet." <laughs> now Crystal's trying to win the new world record for world's largest cookie, right? No, Jason, I made pancakes for dinner last night. I assure you, my pancakes were not that big. Dough is drying out a little bit. Jet lag? I don't even know. Yesterday I fell asleep at 9.30, and then this morning it was 5.30. Yesterday you woke up at 4.30. Yesterday it was 4.30. I just laid in bed for four hours, just like... Listening to lo-fi Nintendo music, because that's been lately. Chris says, I'll host Dan Hicks, and we can do a pop-up wedding. Is the bonus fifth category. Ew, I don't want to get married. Which is back. Back again. (laughs) <laughs> There's no going to bed when you're getting baked with Crystal. Okay, hold on. I need this to come off because it's a sensory issue and it's tickling me. I'm going to have to trim that down. 
I, I still love it, but I do have to trim it. I'll wear them both for you. Okay. She Form of Big Mac Squaw! <laughs> Taking on Sugarloaf! <laughs> Damn, gonna get kicked out pretty soon. <laughs> Probably. Oh, I've already been kicked out a few times. <laughs> the egg was was a pretty hard line there. That that was. Oh, you catching the egg? I'm no, you throwing the egg. I thought about it a few times, and I'm like, every time I don't throw it, this might be the only time I've ever thrown the egg. I can't believe I caught it. How often do you throw things at me, and I don't even come close? I'm just like, oh, flailing. One out of ten. So either way, I never catch. Things. Either way, we wait. Either way, that was funny enough. Or either way, you're smacking it around, and you do the safety dance <laughs> all over the kitchen. Great now, and great now. Dan is big sugar loaf mound. <laughs> <laughs> I need a sugar loaf mount. <laughs> oh my gosh, none of you guys better if you guys come to the conventions, do not bring this up in public. <laughs> oh, bring do it up. Do not bring it up in public. Uh, Shannon says you can burn the ends I meant to and forgot. No worries, I'll have to do something because yeah, the tickling and at, yeah, it's a bit much. At but, one of the conventions. But it fits. It does fit well. I think it was Jersey, maybe. PJ's buddy comes running up. I don't even know who this dude is. He just comes running up. Oh, Mick, F yeah, from the, from the <laughs> Mick Rib video. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. Yeah, you just, get a lot of little one-liners, don't I mean, you? You can, like, write it down on a piece of paper and flash it to me, and I'll read it. <laughs> but that fan says, hard line, you mean hard-boiled? I, I wouldn't have stressed <laughs> if it was hard-boiled. Mm -mm. It was the fact that it wasn't that stressed me out. <laughs> you know, the girl who made this recipe, like, the website I got this recipe from, I follow her on Instagram, and she said... Eggs are too damn expensive. I made my kids die raw eggs this year so I can still use them in my recipe. Whoa! Right? They only broke one egg. I'm not that brave. <laughs> not at all. Jason said, hide your kids. Oh, yeah. Your kids should not be watching this. When Greg went out of town, he had to tell the people to come take the eggs. Like, hey, like you should come by and grab oh, the eggs all off the ground. It's like a bad Easter yeah, egg Yeah, because they'll just rot. They'll just, oh, or they'll just make more, if, like, depends. Right, but the ones that are there will rot. Yeah, they'll just, like, turn, yeah, they'll just rot. I guess. I don't know what they do, like... When I Okay, the only thing I learned from television is that the little legs only pop out. They just run around with just their legs out and all. And Foghorn Leghorn chases them around. I saw, like, a short-form content video the other day that the egg was stuck in the chicken and it wouldn't come out. And so they had to put their chicken in warm water and, like, leave the chicken in, like, a plastic tub of warm water. And on the lid, they cut a hole so its head would stick out so it wouldn't oh, freak out. that's soup. And then after the... <laughs> 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 it is. Um, but then they left it in there for a while, and then she was able to lay the egg. And then when the egg came out, it was just like a little egg. It was like half an egg. But for some reason, it got stuck. Because apparently that can happen. That's terrifying. Also, I learned this week that apparently that can happen with fetuses, too, and then people don't know. And then they have medical issues, and then, like, there's a fetus inside. And not like I didn't know I was pregnant, but, like, yeah, I guess you didn't know. But then, like, there's a whole full-grown baby that never came out that, like, is just still in you. There's some terrifying stuff. <laughs> Jason said, that's how I cook chicken. <laughs> if you leave the eggs too long, the chicken will eat them. No! And it can be hard to get them to stop once they start. Oh, Wait, wait, kind of like, like like they develop like a taste for them and right? that's for all of them? Or just like that one egg? Because that's okay. Like, you can eat the one egg. Maybe we should try it. No. No. Oh, this one didn't squish up. Okay. Maybe this is a little more reasonable. These will be half the size. We'll Those see are happens. a quarter of the size. No, it's, this was a half a cup and this is a quarter cup. It's it's half as much dough. Oh my gosh. So Okay, so they are going to get bigger in back yes. in there. Oh, good grief. I, I don't know. All, All right. right. I need to take five real quick, so you need to entertain. Oh I'm my not gosh. Yours anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I, will, I will be right back. So I went to the Smithsonian with, with Greg. So we get to DC. Oh wait, hold on. I got to tell you about this Alexa. I got to tell you about Sorry, something else time. first. Ew, did you, did you touch the A-L-E-X-A with pupusa fingers? Oh, yeah. Gross, you're gonna have to wash that later. Dang, what a pupusa. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I don't think anybody heard that, I'm good. Alright, so check this out. Make you full square. okay, yes, but let me show you something first. Okay, so today uh, I went to the mailbox to get Crystal Slimer shirt out. She Shut totally up. ordered a Slimer shirt, by the way. I did not. Well, I was dozing off last night, and she's all like, man... Dude, that Frozen Tundra movie looks really cool. I'm gonna order a Slimer shirt, and then so I went. And I got her Slimer shirt out, and in the gutter was an upside down Hot Wheel. I spotted that thing from a hundred yards away. If you ever seen like a like a um, old school like karate movie, like when he looks in, he goes and it hard zooms in. 
uh, I found a Hot Wheel on the ground, right? So I open up the car to rescue the Hot Wheel. It's a Honda, right? So I'm like, okay, it's a beat up Hot Wheel. So I rescue the Hot Wheel, but then I'm looking here and it's like gimmicked out with this like, it's a piece of string that's been strategically wrapped around the whole car, the inside around there to make this keychain. It's like really nicely balanced keychain, right? So this keychain is 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 got like a little like a weight on here at the end or something like that. I don't know. Time was taken to make this keychain. So I was thinking this was right in front of the mailbox. So I was thinking that maybe I take a picture of it and then put like found like a lost and found thing and put like found like rad Hot Wheel keychain. I kind of want this, but it's like not like this. This is like an omiyage, you know. This is like a gift. I can't like this isn't this is a gift. I think that's really super cool. So. I, uh, I don't know. I think, uh, give, I'll use it. I think I want to put a sign up and see if I can find the owners of it and have them, like, come at Finders, keepers, someone was unappreciative. I think maybe it fell out of their car when they opened up the their door and it fell out of the car. But, Jason, you're always a finders, keepers, or yoinks. Jason's a yoinks, or mine's now. Mine's now. Mine's now yoinks. So, you know, next giveaway, gutter Hot Wheel. <laughs> but it looks really rad. Um, when I went to the Smithsonian, I came back with, uh, I got a pin, because I made this, I have a pin board here that we're working on. And yeah, I returned it to the rightful owner. I'll try to, I'll, I'll put a lost sign up on the mailbox for the next few days until I leave for Canada, uh, just to see if, if there's a good story for it. Maybe I'll put my phone number on there or something like that. So I got this at the Smithsonian. I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> Wait, they had pins? Yeah, but you didn't go to the Smithsonian, so you can't have a Smithsonian pin. Greg and I talked about it. I said, Sh I should bring maybe just back a pin. And Jess said, cuss swear word, swear word, cuss swear word her, swear word expletive deleted, swear word deleted. Swear word, and I was like, okay, and then that was it. No pin. It's crazy. It was, it was, it was crazy. I was there in the eighth grade. Oh, so then like by that logic, you're entitled to the pin that was never pin bottomed. That works. Pin bottoms, a thing. So check this out. Oh, there's that picture again. I got my head in a T-Rex skull. I thought that was kind of rad. Sounds like a legit story to me. <laughs> oh, I got, I really, 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 really want to go back there. Dan, I have a flag with pins on it. Oh, awesome. Um, we got this like hoopy joop thing that we're putting um, material on here and then I'll put all my pins through it. So now I kind of click pins a little bit. Uh, which you'll see all the rad pins that Jess got in the vlog probably at the end of next week or so from the mall. Uh, what other cool things did I see? I do oh, this was my favorite thing. The Easter Island dude was there. Look at he even smiled. Look at that Kevin McHale forehead. But look at that. Didn't you didn't stay for the night of the museum at the museum? No, I didn't. The CEO of the <clears throat> Cheryl says. Snow Dog CEO lady doesn't swear, Dan. No, I was just kidding. Jess is a perfect angel. She is just like you see on camera. You're just, just such a perfect angel. But oh my gosh, look at this. I mean, it, it was there. It was it was there. I I didn't know. I saw the hope dive. Greg's got all the good pictures. I stopped with my crummy phone. Greg's gonna upload all the photos and, and we'll put them together somehow. But I saw the hope diamond, it sucked. Um, this was out in front of it. It looked, the place looked so rad. I did get some smashed pennies, though, for future giveaways. I did do that. The Smithsonian was completely done a few years ago. I can't wait to go see the updates. Yes! We went to the, to the dinosaur one. They had, like, I got to see the moon, and I got to see, look at the dinosaur. Look at, it's me. In, like, dinosaur form. Wow, even then I was running. Huh, checks out, right? So much fun. I had such a great time in there. 
Greg and I were just like, go, oh, oh, we're spinning around. We got a map and we were fumbling with the map and we were just like, there was no one to tell us to breathe. Every time we turned around, there was something like older than me. Oh my gosh. I still haven't seen all these photos you took. Yeah, Greg's gonna, Greg will upload, I'm gonna have to upload them. Can I request that you calm down for one moment? I got distracted and I just wanted to show everybody how some ugly strikers is. Um, if you've been around long enough, you know, like, Precious, you can't pick up. He won't let you pick him up and he freaks out. Stripers is just like, oh, we're snuggling now. Okay, we can do this. Mm. Hi, buddy. Aww. And he snuggles into my neck like Mooch. It was the Natural Museum, yeah. He's such a happy boy. Hi, baby. Aww. His mouth doesn't hurt anymore and he lets me pet his cheeks. I would love to go see the Florida Space Coast, uh, David. Hey, I might be going to the. What are you doing? You want to see I might go to Niagara Falls in a couple weeks. What's happening here? It's cool. Like I just don't know. Like the adventures just happened. Like I didn't really think about DC at all. I had no idea there was a museum you know there now? until much? Greg talked about the museum. Um. But then, like all of a sudden, I got to do the theme. So I didn't even like look forward to it. Like you just do it. Right. Oh, uh, because plants can change on a whim. Um, we have a couple more minutes. We have some snacks here from Melissa G. Oh, yes. Are you go back and hide? Wait, I want to give you snacks. Um, she sent some temptations. Thank you, Melissa. And some purely fancy feast natural hand flaked tuna treats. We're going to try these because nobody's ever had these before. There was a lot of vlog footage. I think we took too much vlog oh, footage. These are, oh, look. They're like in little pouches in here. Roxy even woke up for that one. Oh, oh, oh here comes Sleepy Topo. Oh, wait. His look, eyes aren't even open all the way. What's up, Sleepy Topo? Oh, uh, yeah, look. They come in, like, little, like, individual patches. Oh, yeah. Okay, one for everybody. Oh, these are, like, wet. The camera's over here on the ground. I don't know if you can see or not. Yeah, come here. Oh, now he's sniffing the bowl trying to figure out where it is. Here, buddy. We got a like a lot of footage of the we got a lot of footage of the um, Smithsonian Museum, but I can't be sure what Greg and I said at all on the camera because we were just in awe. Is that yummy? And it was a lot of like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It was just a lot of that. So far, I only have these two. Can you see strikers? Um, yeah. Rock. Uh, here comes Roxy's looking. Oh, you like that? You eat on my hand. Oh, you dropped it. Here. Roxy, you want some? Oh, it's too far. She'll go get it. Mooch doesn't smell it yet. Hey, uh, hey, Jess, are you here? So Alex sent me a photo right now, Jess, and uh, she wants to... Uh, she, he wants to know if uh, he needs to ship you one of these. Can I have another pouch? I will give you another pouch. Hey, two things in a row I caught. Good job. <laughs> Hi, do you want this? Oh, <laughs> liquid squirted out on my face. Ew. <laughs> tuna juice on my Ew. cheek. Here, watch out, tuna juice. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Don't give me new nicknames. That's so much coffee milk. Hey, hey, over here. No, no, don't need the empty pouch. Look, I have the real stuff here. Come here. Come here. There you go. Oh, Roxy didn't like it. She's she was, picky. She's really glaring at me now. She's picky. Hey, do you want this? Yes, you do. Chomp, chomp. Oh, okay. I dropped a piece. Oh, Melissa, thank you. I've never seen these before, and these two at least absolutely love it. It's good stuff, huh? Can you show Topo the piece that's over there? Hey. He says, yeah, right, there's two over here. Alexa, stop. Topo. <laughs> oh, he's not the he's not the brightest. This is why we love Topo. <laughs> hey! This one's a little chunky. You want a little more? I should give Mooch some. Are you leaving? You had enough? Now he's sniffing the bowls. Topo. Topo, hey, here you go, buddy. Come on. Come on, 2% smarter. Come on, come on, come on, Topo. Yes. So, they're just... Oh, you're over here. It's just like a chunk of mashed up tuna bits in there. It's nice to tear it up a little bit for the yeah, cats. Yeah, that's, that's tearing them little pieces. 
Oh, can we get a camera on Mooch? Where's Mooch? Over here. Yeah, here it comes. Are we trying to wake him up with the sniffs? Yeah. Oh, that was quick. Hi, what's that? I don't know, but put it in my mouth. Mm, that's good. Like, like, I've, like, cause I like sushi. That's a good piece of meat. That's like, a, a, when I say good piece of meat, like that's good for the cats. Like, you go. So Crystal, I don't know if you didn't hear my story. I found this in the gutter in front of the. No, you didn't. In front of the um, mailbox today, right? Blake and I. At Bla our house. Yes, Blake and I were getting the mail. Okay, I have to get the cookies out, but I have tuna fingers. You want me to grab them out here? Can Can we peek at them? Open it up. I'm gonna poke with not a tuna finger. Open more. Soft, super soft. Yeah, but I don't want to overcook them. You want me to just take them out for you? Um, you do it. Give it another minute. But check this thing out. It's perfectly balanced keychain. I'll wait till you're done there. But you gotta look at this Calm thing. Down. And uh, here, let's adjust the cookies, and I'll touch them in a minute. Where's it? Can you get the cookies out with the, the Brittany oven mitts? <laughs> yeah, but hang on, I'll be there in a minute. I like these oven mitts. All right, let's change cameras and let's get the cookies out before the cookies fail. Oh no, I see Dan quotes. What's right, going on? I had here? to give some to Precious. That's a good. Oh no, <laughs> Chris. Oh wait, I went to the wrong camera. That's still the wrong camera. Because Shannon says she can't get over how small the girls are in real life and just says it's because she's so short. Yeah, oh like, yes. Perspective wise. That's all they say is like, oh all my right. gosh, they look so small. Give me some mitts. They're so cat mitts. So anyway, I found them. I found this thing in the gutter in front of the thing. I said, I saw it from so far away. I was like, Blake, look. And I went and got it and it's all keychained out with this like ropey thing on it and stuff. Aww, and it's a little you, Honda. You like stole some kid's toy. I was saying like, I'm going to take a picture of it and put like found. <laughs> found and I'm going to try to, yeah, because you can see like somebody took some care Call to like. to collect and join the RFS racing league. <laughs> and this Hot Wheel itself is a Honda 2000. This is like probably like a $10 Hot Wheel right now. All right. All right. But that's somebody's like little keychain. Jason, what do you think Jason said? <laughs> I can't even imagine that you. Small that like, no, he's like finders keepers. <laughs> right. Typical little brother stuff. Right. Are the cats the best kitchen helpers? They're all on the way now. All on the way now. Hi, Kamiko. All right. All right. All right. Shannon says, Lee reminded me we have a German Shepherd, so it warps our perspective of other dogs as well. Makes sense. Those are big boys or girls. Okay, is it time to open up the next thing? Uh, yeah, let me wash my hands. Yeah, because those are cool laying. When I take them off, I'll put one last batch in that should be just a few more cookies. These are much more reasonably, like, crumble cookie size, not giant. Uh, Drea Kitty Husky says, did you guys get my sticker? It's not showing up. Can you scroll up? Did something come through? Careful, because the counter is wet. Oh, there's a, okay, here we go. There we go. I can make it only just the fundings come up. Right. I think we saw that already now. Um, that, uh, with your membership or chat, I think we read that already. Hey, everyone, I hope everyone has an awesome yes. spring break. Yeah, because they said we're adults, we don't get spring break. No, if you said something else, it did not come through. And Brittany sent us a super chat, too, with <laughs> yes, the client Yes, I did email. read that. That's okay. when she showed up. No, it I didn't. I do remember that. It didn't, friend. But you can pretend it did, and we'll read it, because you're our pal. <laughs> it was a sticker. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, are you ready? I am, but hang on, because the counter's wet, because I just wiped it down. Oh, we can wait till it dries. It's not supposed to dry. Like it's supposed to dry. I'll just wipe it up, and then it's dry. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. All right, this one is from Ashy. Yes. Mooch, I just washed the counter. Drink the water out of there. <gasps> Don't have cats. Dan, I beat you at the pins and go look at my photo. Did you post it in the group? I'll check it out. I have, like, ten pins now. We're, we're talking about making the pin holder for the pins. I have like 10 pins. Ooh, starting off with a shirt. All right, we'll see it all together. I bet it's not Slimer. I bet it's <laughs> Sassy. I don't like morning people or mornings or people. <laughs> Fully accurate. Fully accurate and men's medium. I love you. Thank you, Ashy. <laughs> That's the best. I'm totally wearing this to work on Monday. <laughs> Great. Add fuel to her fire. <laughs> Do you know what? One of <coughs> when I go to work, 
my hair's still wet because I wear it curly now. So I go to work with it wet, <laughs> and then by like nine nine thirty it dries. One of the guys at work said, "Oh, don't talk to Crystal till her hair's dry." <laughs> accurate statement. Fully accurate statement. Thank you, Ashley. I do love this, and it's super soft. Cats and cats. Uh, <laughs> What's that little thing? Tuna and scallop. Tuna and scallop recipe in broth. Oh, it's like Wait, it's not on the screen yet. Oh. Hold on, I, I'm slacking here. <sighs> Oh, Ashley is here. Yeah, that looks good. The cats are going to like that. <coughs> I'm not going to like it. You're going to have to feed it to them because I don't like the stuff that looks too real. Okay. Um, and some Sheba tender turkey entree with the fancy looking blue eyed cat. Which is like, you need to open up that blue thing right now. Look at him. Oh. He's on the counter here. Could be because here too. Oh, Mooch is going to love this. Hold on. Oh, it's the get him toys. Mooch is the only one of our cats smart enough to figure this toy out. We have we, we have one of these. And we have new cats now, so but like this maybe. this one has a feather on top, so maybe that'll attract them. Hold on. It's never going to work because right now I'm watching Roxy watch the toy <laughs> on, <laughs> on, the, the on the monitor over here. Oh, she walked away now. She was watching it on the monitor over here instead of just coming over here where the toy is. She is her mom's kid. <laughs> For Ashy, it's like, oh, I think it's probably only an hour later for you, so maybe that's not too bad. Okay, toss this you, yes, before somebody have this. eats it. Where are this? some snacks? Oh, right, it's a tag team from. Is this? Wait, from I need Melissa's instructions. Snacks versus I here, I got it. It doesn't open like the other one does on the top. Don't break it. Get instructions. Get instructions. I can see the little twisty things. Ta da! Which do you know what this is? He's like, I don't care, just put some sort of sour cream in there. <laughs> Come on. Put him down on the ground. He's like, I'm retired. I thought you, I didn't have to hunt for snacks anymore. Ashley says it's 1029. Okay, not too, too is? bad. No, he doesn't like that it has feathers. He's like, I just want the snacks. There you go. Good boy. He knows. Almost. Snacking a little more. Look, don't up. I told you're not smart enough to figure this one out. Mm -mm. Baxter might be able to. Oh, this one rolls around a lot more than the one we have. Which <laughs> is like, what the hell? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> there it is, you got one. <laughs> well, can you figure it out, Topes? Cat Kong, sort of. <laughs> we should get away from my food. There you go, you got another one. Watch out, Topo, you're about to get a two piece from, uh, <laughs> from, from, uh, Mooch. Yeah, thanks, you're doing it. Yes, Mooch will always perform with these. I don't know how or why he figured it out and why none of the other cats can. Mooch is smart. He, he knows how to toggle things, smack things around, do stuff to make the stuff happen. You missed a piece. Hey, you missed a piece. There's still more in here, bud. Can you figure it out? No. No. It it it's a, no, small brain. Okay. Oh, was it smooth brain? <laughs> yeah, smooth, brain. smooth brain. Good job, Mooch. Hey, uh-uh. Did he just take a cheap shot at Mooch? He tried. Watch out, Mooch is gonna roll you up. You wanna, yep. see, you wanna <laughs> see the old man come out of retirement? <laughs> Get him! Get Almost him. like twice the size, Mooch does not care. Get him! Get it, Mooch! Come on. Yeah, I love it. Mooch is so adorable, he is. He's a smart boy. Did you shut down? Some internal maintenance? What's happening? I mean, he's old as dirt. I'm surprised <laughs> he even made it this far. <laughs> Mike Tyson versus Good Jake job. Paul. Oh, yeah, I'll be watching that for sure. It's not All right. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, Topo, do you want a snack? He does. He's like, I'll be cute. Nice catch. Right in his mouth. All right. Good job, Topo. Hierarchy of cats. Mooch is Yes, boss. he goes bowling. Absolutely. I'll open up the front door and the cats will set up the front door. And then a minute later, here comes Mooch like a bowling ball. 
And then he goes bullying into the cats, and they all run away, all irritated and he stuff. He did get in Stripers' face the other day, and Stri- Stripers was not having it. He swapped him. Mm, Stripers away. was like, I'm from the street. Yep, don't mess with me. You don't know where I come from. Also, my estimated age of Stripers, by looking at him and all my inside cats here, he's 13. I don't think so. He's old. He's got the white eyes. He feels old when I touch him. I don't think so. All right, we're back right here. Ah, there's more Sheba. This one is Tender Trout. On nice. The they don't have these, so they'll, they'll, they'll like these. It'll be fun. I missed the letter. Can I, can I read the letter? Am I allowed to read uh, the You letter? read it, and then we'll read the letter. Oh. You read the letter, then we'll read the letter. <laughs> oh, that was... This, this is when we met her in real life at Novi. <laughs> uh, you must have let Dan hold your phone, because that's what happens when Dan holds your phone. <laughs> Dan does not post for pictures like that. Dan takes selfies like that. Ashy also... Uh, and Ashy and Jess and the girls. She also has a YouTube channel. I think... I, was I supposed to get this to Jess? Shoot. Uh, was I... Because I'm going to see her in... No, in oh, she Toronto. says I can read it. Yes. She says, Dan and Crystal, thank you for all that you do. I had a great time meeting everyone in Novi. Here are some pictures that I developed from the trip. I love that you did that because people don't do that I anymore. love the developed pictures that you guys send and stuff. She so- says, enjoy them. Crystal, I know you're not a morning person and neither am I. So I got this shirt especially for you and one for me. Twinsies. I do love it. It's great. I bought some toys, treats, and cat food for all of the cats to enjoy. Sending them my love. Oh, yeah. Mooch is fully enjoying it. Tilt yeah. was very confused. He's down there smacking Chris around. was like, how come I didn't get a treat? Aww. For Hot Wheel Night, I sent some cars to be in the races. <gasps> I couldn't decide which car, so whichever is the fastest car is mine. If there are duplicate cars, let me know so I can pay for shipping. Yep. Nope. Thank you. It'll be fine. You'll get your own unique number on the cars and everything. And also, more people printing out the pictures of the... When I take pictures of the other way around of these pictures, uh, I always flip the camera around and take a silly picture, and they're starting to get sent back to me, and I do appreciate that. Yay. Yes, I, I definitely will keep these for our memories. Uh, but yeah, Ashley, do you want me to get you the one to Jess, or is that just for me as well? Oh, she sent a fish taco. <laughs> oh, I love it. Do a taco? Oh, Topa does. Hold on. <laughs> it's not a treat, bub. No, he, he wants snacks. He's oh, like, wait, wait, why can't wait. I eat it? Nope. Is he gonna go Somebody bury it? He's gonna go bury it. He's like, where's the food? Yeah, he just wants snacks. We teased him. Good news, Topo. Dan, give me a marker so I can write her name on it. She sent temptations as well. I do have to get some. Rizzo's patiently waiting. Three in a row! Wow! <laughs> Dang. That was my left hand, too. I'm not even left-handed. Good catch, Topes. What are you digging for? You didn't have enough? <laughs> Don't step on my fish taco. Step on your fish taco, bro. Thank you. There's still more. She said that's for you and Crystal. I can go one to Jess and Jamie. Uncle Yukon says I better buy some lotto tickets. I know, right? I never catch things. Ooh, this one's a salmon and mussel recipe and broth. Again, you're going to have to... It's too real. I like pâtés. <laughs> oh, I'll let you Ooh, emote. Nice little Honda. This is a good Honda. And we will be putting your names on the cars as well. Salmon and creamy sauce entree. Oh, damn, I'll have to come for this. Ooh, bonkers catnip chicken cheddar flavor. Ooh, this is with the crunchy outer and the gooey inner. Dan, I'll try those. Wait, we got you gotta like. Oh, show. sorry. Distracted. I like the packaging on the bonkers. Yes, I don't know if they had bonkers before. Warrior Cat says, "Here's a reminder of my card. You should charge <laughs> us. You should send us a bill. Like, you should." No, no. If you missed it earlier, my goal is to get yours and. Corinne's out before Dan leaves on this trip. That's what you said last trip. <laughs> I know. What are you doing? More cars? Uh, yeah. I don't know if there's... Oh, there is. There is. I feel more cars. Are you going to show off the cars? Uh, a chicken car. That'll be fun for bully night. An animal rescue car. That'll be fun too. Oh, somebody has an animal rescue, but they have a red one. It's different. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, that's adorable. It's Mike Wachowski. Wachowski. <laughs> no, I thought I could say it, and I can't. The nice Pacifica. And okay, I think that's all the cars. And a Mustang. All right, you're going to have a lot to choose from. Oh, my gosh, the Monsters Inc. card so cute. That is adorable. 
Ooh, much. We have chicken and shrimp recipe and broth. He doesn't understand why I'm not just opening it for him. Oh, whoa. Ooh, right. where's your marker? Because we got another. I, I've got, I'm taking two a photo of these cars, cars. Group, like the group of cars, so I don't. Uh, so I don't lose. Who Alex says they've had bonkers forever. When I was five, I ate some thinking they were human treats. Blind kid problems. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Dan's eaten plenty of animal treats thinking they were human treats. Just Dan problems. I love it. Look, it's a cactus and a llama. A cactus with red hair, by the way. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's it's so adorable. Cute. Super adorable. Good, because, uh, oh, they have tabs. They must squeak or something. Uh, when I cleaned up while Dan was gone for the weekend, there was a pile of toys that somebody had barfed on, and I wasn't even trying to clean them. I just stuck them all right in the trash. They've got so many toys. I'm not even trying to save them, but I'm happy they have new ones. Well, where'd the tab come out of? Is that... I don't think they squeak. The tab, like, fell out, but it looks like it You broke. guys want some Shiba bougie cat food for dinner tonight? It's going to be nice eatings for you. Oh, that's, we don't that's spoil good stuff. that much. Hang um, on, hang on. They get some spoils, but this is just a different brand of spoil. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, Ashy, for the shirt and the, the cat treats and the everythings and the toys, and they're going to love them. Um, they're all hyped up and, like, ready for treats right now, so they're not excited about the toys. I'm trying to figure out if the tab broke off in here. Yeah, you got two red shirts here. You got a Slimer and that shirt. <laughs> I wanted a ball <coughs> frame. You want to fight it for a minute? Um, and you can continue. I on. don't know if they both, this has something in it too, but this is crinkly, but it had like a tab like it was going to make noise. I didn't read the package to know what's happening. Oh, okay. Dang. Alex says my parents sued the company because the packaging didn't mention they were for cats and won. Hence why the packets are clearly labeled after 1986. I need to know what their settlement was. Oh my gosh. How is that <laughs> not your claim? How, do, how is that not your claim to fame? I would tell the, everybody about did that. Did you know the lady that got coffee dumped on her at the McDonald's and sued walks around with McLegs like that? She's just like, hi, I'm Hold on. I'm Doris. That lady I, has like really severe burns. Let's not make light of that. I like to clarify that every single time. She's not like, oh, the coffee was hot. Like... She had like pieces yeah, of her Alex, fused now, to her leg. And now Alex got a real addiction to cat treats. <laughs> but like, how do you not start with that? Oh, I don't know how the on button goes. But. Uh, Warrior Cast is Wednesday leaving for the trip. Wednesday. I, Wednesday. I think maybe it, it fell out in shipping and now it's not making noise. I don't know. They're, look, they still crinkle, they'll still make noise and be happy. All right, so these are still huge. But they're like regular crumble cookie huge, like half the size of my face. My eyes can still see over it. Maybe there's an app. All right, what do you, oh, which needs water. Mooch ate too many snacks and now he needs a drink. All right, once Mooch is done here, then I will start on the filling for these. But in the meantime, let me get the last few in here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. It's 8.40, it's gonna be one of those nights. Uh, we'll make the filling and then um, put it on top and some jelly and then if Dan wants to try it warm he can because it's not going to be cold. I'm going to wait until tomorrow. Alex says I have no idea what my parents got. I was a kid. All I know is we went to Disney World on vacation. Yeah, That's a win. Cool. Way to take one for the team for your family. Good job Alec. <laughs> was it good? Because Dan reports back on the flavors and most of them he seems to like. But yeah they should definitely identify them clearly. There's still 93 people watching us, Dan. I don't Hi, know what everybody. you're doing over there off camera. I am the camera's talking not to John Carl. He's sending me eye racing photos. Aww. And, I'm and, in the and I went too long, so now you're crying in the corner. Rat Rod Railroad says, I'm still here getting ready to do my drizzle. Aww. I'm sorry, I'm so far behind. Oh, am I taking too long to bake the cookies, Dan? You didn't tell me you had plans. Well, like, I did it. You didn't tell like, me you had a date. Well, I mean, you know. There's. Everybody's all like, too bad, Dan. <laughs> too too bad. bad. So I think F1 qualifying is on side to go to that. Or P3, I'm not sure. Matt Hobby says, I can't think of anything better. Spending my Friday night hanging out with Dan and Crystal. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> Hannah says, date? Dan's wife again? <sighs> F that beat. I don't want to like her. She's annoying from what I hear. <laughs> what was it? Dan's wife. Is oh, she yes, annoying? that's right. It's been a long time since that. <laughs> we'll never forget Dan's wife. <laughs> I 
Avrielle switched to her headset and <laughs> her aliexa keeps going off. Oops. Sorry. Oh, because the aliexa. Yeah, sorry, I got like one more timer. <laughs> I try to whisper it, but sometimes I forget and just like do what I, I do with my normal back. life. So that pupusa holds you over till after the show? Like that was good stuff? Yeah, I'm definitely hungry, but I have leftover enchiladas to make after this. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I didn't eat mine like you gluttons. I already lauded. Are you going to do something here? Is it time to make a topping? Alexa. Or do I need to go back to just. 10 minutes. For a little bit. Now. Was that better? <laughs> oh, John Carlos says it's not really a date. Aww. It's okay. You don't have to lie to kick it. I try uh, to. Thank fake you again, Ashley. They're gonna be eating well. I try to fake pendicitis, but it didn't check out. Pendicitis? <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? It's when it's all pent up because I haven't gotten a race for a week because I've been gone, and like I need to like. Aww, I feel like you can like leave if you have stuff to do. It's the same computer. Yeah, I guess there's that. No, I'm tired. It's like. I, oh, I use all my energy. So sad. It's okay. I'll watch this replay later. Was that bad? Was that bad? <laughs> you gotta tell me when you make plans. Like I you, did it. I know you, you have never to work. have plans. So why I would know, I think you had plans? I didn't have plans, but like sounds like you had plans. I mean, not really a date. It's okay. I have the F two race on here. You have what? I have the two. not appendicitis. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. Right, it'll be something else. <laughs> Oh, it's hot in here. Well, that's because the oven's been on at 350 for like three hours. Is that what that is? I just thought I was having a hot flash. <laughs> you might be, because you kind of do that. Oh, he says this wasn't coordinated. Okay, but if you want to coordinate it, could you just like text me and let me know? Because <laughs> Dan will forget to tell me. <laughs> no, I just get the message and then like I go running over. Oh. Well, Dan, tomorrow's show is earlier, so if you're free, John Carl, you can make a date. Oh my gosh. Alex says, Maybe. I should write a book of funny slash odd stories because of my disabilities. Blind Summer Camp was hilarious as a teenager with what? raging hormones. Oh, I bet. Oh my gosh, that's a Johnny Knoxville camp counselor movie <laughs> if I ever heard one. I watch it. What the heck? I, I need to it. know. I love that, like, I'm sure lots of things in life are difficult for you because of your disabilities, but I love that, like, you can laugh at certain things. <laughs> you can just drive around the block and put you in the backyard. <laughs> what? <laughs> there you go. Dude, I gotta hear these stories. I had such a good time with Alec, like, we had so, f we had fun, and then, like, I kept getting pulled away because, like, you know. That's what happened? Yeah. But, oh, it was, it was fun. Alec said he'll call you later. He'll be asleep, like, half an hour after we're done. I guarantee it. <laughs> uh, Husky Mom posted the photos of everything she made! Okay, hold on. Hold up, wait a minute. Let me dry some dishes in it. I mean, no, I that. That's Dang! Can we go swipe it, Mooch? Well, there's gonna be more. I'm trying to She's switch cameras. sleeping in the middle of the bed, but to, that's his bed? I'm trying to hurry and switch cameras. There's, this isn't the end of it right here. I could, like, Aww. I could intervene, but I feel like a National Geographic dude. <laughs> it's the Battle of the Oldies. How old's Kumiko? 14, she'll be 15 this year. I should pull out my old calendar. Auntie Ange, when's her, when's her birthday? <laughs> I know you always have the calendar around. All right, Husky Mom Bronico approved some things, or wait, posted some things I have to approve. Boring, oh my God, it's like a bad Walter Matthau uh, movie. It's like grumpy old men. <laughs> it is. But nothing's happening, okay. All right, here is everything I baked and made today. Chocolate covered pretzel. Oh, good choice for for bake sale. Chocolate chip Just so you muffins. Just see everything. Is that okay? Like we can see everything. Yeah, on your if you're in the group, you'll see it anyway. Okay. Chocolate cupcake with peanut butter icing, donut muffins. Oh, yum! And fun fetty muddy buddies. Oh, with my recipe, that's the best muddy buddies. Uh, sprayed some pink with food safe spray. Awesome. So here's her chocolate covered pretzels. Oh, hold on. It's too bright. Chocolate covered pretzels. Chocolate chip muffins. I love your presentation. That's beautiful. Uh, wait, I forgot what this one was. Chocolate cupcake with peanut butter icing. I wouldn't eat that because of the peanut butter, but the donut muffins sound amazing. Oh, they're fighting again. She smacked him. He got too close. 
All you need is like three more inches back. I know, can you slide her back just a little bit? She's not good at like being moved. She'll probably run away. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, look. There you go, Mooch. No, no. Well, bye. Sorry, Kamiko. Oh. Goodbye. Kamiko, you really don't want to be there anyway. Good job, Husky Malbronico. I love that you sprayed them pink. That's a good idea. I wouldn't have thought to do that. Okay, Dan. I need to mixer it up. They uh, did it all. He decided he was just trying to go around that pole. And then, uh, yeah, that wasn't good. His eye rating went down. Okay. We're going to whip the cream cheese until it's smooth. Where's my cream cheese? Add the powdered sugar half a cup at a time, mixing until completely combined before adding more powdered sugar. Repeat until the full two cups of powdered sugar have been added. Okay, so this and then this. Did I not take powdered sugar out? Oh, I did. I left it over here. And then we're going to add the marshmallow cream. The old man didn't even see the cream. All right. Hi, how's everyone doing? It's like... Almost nine o'clock here, which means it's almost 11 o'clock or almost 12 o'clock for you guys. It's late. It's late. Crystal, they went crashing and the old man on the right didn't even, even flinched at all. No, he did like, not. This old dude standing next to the track and they go wipe it out next to him. It's not his first rodeo. <laughs> he likes seat belts. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's the face of a cat who smells cream cheese. <laughs> he was settling in and he smells it. <laughs> Kid is in bed. Are we drinking now? Okay, so here's the problem, Chris. I skipped lunch in favor of a nap because I'm a sleepy girl. And um, then I ate a pupusa and that was it. <laughs> I might need more food before I drink. I could probably do wine, but give me a little bit. Usually I'm sleepy after I eat pupusa, too. <laughs> do I want me to bring this? Yeah, you're going to have to. Well, well, hang on, because he's not getting up yet. Let's I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. much bait on the counter. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now Topo's coming. <laughs> That's not going to end well. What are you doing? Are you looking for more food? I want a salad. You can have a salad. I'll allow it. Uh, Amanda Moline, hold on. Hold up. Mooch's name should have been Food Gobbler instead. I mean, same sort of thing. <laughs> He's gobbler. a mooch because he mooches all your food. Oh yeah, I do want to see your flag. I need to see your... I had a hat growing up. I don't know where it went. And it had so many pins on it. It had like a bunch of Unical 76 pins. Oh my gosh, Melissa. Melissa from Burbank. Wake up. She was here. <laughs> you gotta be dozing. Oh no, it's only 8.50, huh? Oh, I have a whole, I had a whole bunch of Dodger pins and a Unical 76 pins. Because my dad worked in Culver City. Uh, and, oh gosh, they gotta be somewhere. They're on a hat somewhere. I'll have to find them. It's so much old stuff. I'm here! <laughs> I have a whole go. bunch of old ones. I'll have to find them. Here's uh, Amanda Moline's and, and her Hot Wheels. Yeah, oh, I forget that I'm zooming in at the Hot Wheels on the wall. <laughs> Ooh, is that, a, is that a Monsters Inc. one? A Donald Duck one, nice. Today when I went to the grocery store, nice our, favorite, twin our favorite cashier had a jacket on and had pins all over it. I couldn't see what any of them were, though. I like your Jack Skellington <laughs> pin. Oh, there's the Snow Dog pins and a Dan pin. I found a Dan pin. I like the WCW, old school WCW Sting poster, or er, poster banner, that flag thing that you have it on. Uh, Aaliyah S89, thank you so much for your oh, member is... super chat. Appreciate you for being here and for supporting us. She says, giant cookies, yay! yay. Thank you for all y'all do. Hi from Phoenix, Arizona. Oh my god, is it the dead of summer yet? I didn't ask Chris or Amanda either. One time we went to a concert in Arizona. Um, Terry lived in Buckeye. I don't remember where the concert was, it, but it was in March. It was like... 10 years ago. It wasn't that Eight long Eight years ago. ago. It was a while ago. Six years um, ago. It was like 5 million degrees out, and it was miserable, and I didn't know it could be that hot. And hot in March, it was the worst. Any more pictures here of Hot Wheels? Amanda, produce more Hot Wheel pictures. <laughs> Alright, so to this, we are going to add... Oh, I'm going to do it with a quarter cup. Hold on. No. 
quarter cup fits in there. Half cup fits in there. The chat is slowing down. Are you guys getting tired? There's still 88 people here. They're kicking back. Chris said, oh, it can be 5 million degrees all year long. Yeah, that's... It gets hot here, but it gets hot in the summertime. Like, it's not even spring yet. It has no business being that kind of hot. It's ridiculous. That was the concert that I ordered a snow cone, but with no juice on it. I just wanted ice. So please, can I have ice? Okay, so it's gonna be a total of two That's cups right. of powdered sugar. Did it get smacked out your hand? It did. I went like to the edge of the pit, and I was standing there holding it, and then all of a sudden I wasn't holding it anymore. Like it was just gone. Alexa, stop. All right, let me check those. You know, somewhere on my phone, I have this cute video floating around Two minutes, starting now. of Memphis trying to chase me around to get my sandwich. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'll have to make that see the light of day. It is good. Okay, you guys are still here. You're just you're just starting to do other things. Oh, what if... I get it. You know, there's a Dan hair. You need that me. wasn't even mine. One... Uh, uh, uh. Somebody keep track. I'm adding one half of a cup. I need to have two cups total. That's one half of a cup. Dan, she wants you to guess how many pins are on her flag. Chris says, my first year in Phoenix, I was excited to get OzFest tickets. It was outside, of course, in August. Hashtag so much dying. I went to Lollapalooza in, I, I want to say it was July, maybe August, uh, in DeVore in 98. And it was so freaking hot. Like, I went in public in tank tops and shorts, and I never do that. And we ended up, like, just dumping water on ourselves because we were so hot out there. So, yeah, I feel your pain. We went to OzFest in the late 90s at the Glen Helen Pavilion, and we rotted on that hill. It's outside. But the people that came to see Marilyn Manson all in their Hot Topic gear rotted even more. Oh, I bet. Dan, Amanda wants you to guess how many pins are on her flag. 173. 173. Over or under? Okay, so here goes my second half of a cup. So this will be one cup total. Sometimes just saying it out loud helps, but if I forget, remind me. No, one of whatever. <laughs> Good enough. One cup. One cup of powdered sugar has been added. I need to add one more cup. Two, ah, ha, ha. Good looking out. There you go. It's confusing because I'm measuring the half cups with quarter cups because they fit in my thing. Uh, Alex says, was it Memphis who snagged your sandwich? Yeah. He confirms, yes. I don't know if you can hear him. He's watching racing. Alex says, I'm a Hot Topic gear owner and trip. What's and trip? I don't know what that means. All right, so this will be our third half of a cup. Did you turn your oven off? I did not, thank you. Because Dan's gonna complain about how hot it is in here. It's ne nearly midnight at home in North Carolina. I'm currently in Tennessee right now. Baking sounds like so much fun. Midnight baking is the best. Uh, Rat Rat Railroad sent a photo of his end results to the RFSDN Gmail. Dan, when you have a moment, can you pull up your Gmail because Rat Rat Railroad does not use social media, but he sent a picture. Yeah, I'm coming. A trip are those black pants with straps and chains all over them. Okay, <laughs> three blah blah blah. <laughs> I might like blah 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 better. <laughs> nice. Heather B. And I'm sure you're not the Heather B from the original real world. See, the R's are hard. Uh, but in my mind, you're Heather B from the real world. I'm at my aunt's house and cousin's asleep, so I can't bake, sadly. Nobody would be mad if they woke up and you were baking. Just saying. I would never be mad if I woke up and like someone was making cookies. One. 
I have no such email. To the RFS Dan at Gmail? Yeah. Did you try refreshing? Yeah. They're six and eight, but wouldn't go back. Oh yeah, don't give small children sweets. I thought like grown adults, because I'd be happy if I woke up and you were making cookies. All right, Dan. Now comes the fun part. I'm far too white to be the real world. I can't say it. Real world, Heather. That's fair. Mooch did not even get up for the cream cheese. Although he did just eat a whole bunch of snacks before that. Oh my god, it's alive! Dan, you're missing it! <laughs> no, nobody's watching. <laughs> oh, it's coming out. I don't know what it's doing! This has never happened before! Oh my gosh, why is it doing this? I love what Marshmallow Fluff does in a recipe. Yes, Heather, you're done counting. Thank you. I think. Yeah, I think I counted before. Um, I love what Marshmallow Fluff does in a recipe. I hate working with Marshmallow Fluff. It's the stickiest, gooeyest nastiness ever. Maybe they overfilled it and the extra is coming out. When I tore it open, it like didn't tear correctly. So one piece tore open and the rest just like peel one layer of the lid. <laughs> Shut up, Chris. Me too. Yeah, we're good now that it's totally open, but yeah, that was bad news. Okay, let's get a little rubber spatula. Oh, I hate this part. Okay, is this, this the right step? Did you get the email yet, Dan? No. Afriel said I had a couple timing glitches with email today. Or with Gmail. Maybe Gmail's issue. Okay, add the marshmallow cream, mix until it's all been combined thoroughly. Okay. Ugh. Oh, I hate this stuff. Alexa, stop. What was the reminder? Oh, I don't Uh, Doris says, fun night, guys, but I think it's past my bedtime. No worries. We're just going to make the, the frosting for the top. We'll frost them. Dan might try one, but if you're around tomorrow for Dantix, starting at 4 p.m. Pacific, we will be uh, trying them out there for sure. Yeah. But hey, thanks for hanging out until your bedtime. Have a good night. Sleep well. Sleep without cats crawling all over you, waking you up. <laughs> What, what are you ha ha -ing? Did it get hot? I mean, it's kind of warm in here, so maybe. What is it? Oh, it's just going to be the outside. I don't know what the inside temperature is. I can't see over there. But, you uh, know, the oven's, seven, the oven's been on to 350 for three hours in here, so. Here. Yeah, it might have gotten hot and built up some pressure. Hannah yeah, says, I have a feeling... Shadow's going to be a good co-sleeper once she's fully integrated into the fam. Yeah, when you get them young enough and you can, like, teach them, like, hey, we're gonna snuggle, then, like, it works, but not so much when they're, you know, four years old and a year and a half old and done whatever they want, but go on the bed, and now they're all of a sudden allowed to go on the bed. I just had my half birthday king. Dan or Crystal, guess what my age is? 72 and a half. Am I right? Over or under? <laughs> look, I can't guess ages like if I look at your face. I have no idea. I'm terrible at that. This can all go in the trash if you want. And these. Thanks, Dan. Look, I can watch him because he's live streaming. Or he's live streaming. Oh, this is John Carl? Yeah. Nice. Look, you're not missing out on anything. You got to go on your date after all. <laughs> oh, this is so gloriously fluffy. We don't need to see Mooch. Ooh, it is. Oh, that looks satisfying. So good. I do have to scrape the sides a little bit. Dan, look at my photo now. 
Like you posted another one? I was asking for a uh, Hot Wheel photo. Also, I oh. still don't have any email. Did you send it to... Yo, of course he's a Dara if I stand. Yeah, he emailed you before. Well, can you come help with the camera? I don't uh, know if I'm doing it right and I just whacked it. Oh, uh, no, you're fine. <laughs> okay, how do I get to these pictures? Let's see, they're in... Open up Facebook. I don't know. Do you get notifications? I, I, I do, and I'm, and it's not a bad thing. But like, I'm also like the mod for like all Jess's stuff. So, so you get all the notifications. It, 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 it um it just drowns out my stuff, which is fine because like you know like I can't be all in it all the time, you know. Okay, I think this is pretty well mixed. So Dan. It wants me to put this in a gallon-sized bag and s squish it on in a circle. Okay. Don't you have, like, the right piping? I do, but that's such a pain in the ass. I'll pull it down for you. <sighs> but the bags always suck. I don't have, like, the good bags that you don't have to, like, fold up. And it's always just such a pain. I hate using piping bags. Mmm. That's good. Is it cheesecakey? Mm hmm. And marshmallowy? Oh, you got that Barbie Combi car? Nice. Railroad, railroad says slow on my end. I like this one. And just glob it on. I want to try to like make at least a couple of them fancy. We'll see how it goes. Because remember, I got to take a picture and like post this on the internet. Dan, you got all the Hot Wheels. Do you want me to approve this picture, or was this picture just for me? Alright, those last few are still pretty warm. <laughs> By the way, I see some of you posting pictures circling the mystery hidden Dan in the, this year's uh, Christmas oh, yeah, card. Don't those. I do I yeah, we like it, but they're funny. I'm not approving those. Uh uh. <laughs> no, everybody's uh -uh. gotta find it on their own. Uh uh. you were any age 30 years ago except like one like really you're over 30 if like, you're 30 plus however old warrior cat is i didn't see yes uncle you come 14 you're like my age why don't i age that well dang what were you doing what were you doing at warrior cat's age it, for me, I think it was right before hockey, like right before I discovered, like it was right around that time of like almost discovering hockey, which didn't like, it was just like obsession forever of playing hockey and stuff. We're not going to talk about me at 14. Uh, yeah, I'll let Cooper read 44. I missed it. When did you put the raspberry in? You don't put it in. You put this on and then it's a drizzle of raspberry across the top. So this uh, cream cheese, uh, uh, marshmallow fluff, powdered sugar, frosting stuff is going to be the frosting and then it just gets a drizzle on the top of the raspberry jelly. Oh, Dan, grab my bag. The picture did come through now. Yay. Are you going to put me to shame or yours going to look way better than mine because I'm going to be sad? That's what happens every time any of you guys bake with me. Yours always look better. Except Husky Mom Bronico and the chocolate roll. Neither of us can get that shit right. Ever. But we decided 2024 is going to be the year of the chocolate roll. We're going to try it again. And we're going to nail it. I can do a pumpkin roll. It's amazing. It always works. I love a pumpkin roll. I know you do. You know I still have a can of pumpkin in there. Have you ever made Bavarian cream? No, I have not. What is that stuff? At Warrior Cat's age, I was learning to rollerblade. Oh, I got my first rollerblades when my brother broke his arm when I was 10. And I had to do all his chores, and my reward was a pair of rollerblades. And that was before they came with, like, it was when rollerblades first became, like, a popular thing. I don't know if, I don't know if they were, like, first out. Like, had rollerblades always been a thing before, like, 1990? Or No. 
Like that's when they were invented? Yeah, you probably got some Veriflexes from Walmart. I don't know, but they were black with, with neon wolf. yellow and neon pink. Like, you would have loved them. Um, but they had no ankle support at all. None. At all. And I learned how to rollerblade on them. Oh yeah, Bavarian Cream Dan is the filling inside the Bavarian Cream Donuts. You like that stuff. Right, okay, no, you're right. I do. All right. Well, my move. I cut the corner off of this before I was ready. Oh, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> You turned me into Scooby-Doo when I, I tried to say it. I and then I got distracted. Um, says, hell no, first time cooking other than normal cookies. Can you please make your kissy face? <laughs> I love that you have one tiny one. <laughs> Those look so good. Did you taste one yet? Or are you gonna refrigerate them so the frosting is cold? Let me see if I can get like a better color on this one here. They really do look good though. You did a good job. So I'm only gonna frost one because I think I'm gonna wait till the whole thing's cold. Because when you go to Crumble Cookie, Not too close. they uh, there you go. It looks good. They frost them for you like fresh there. Like you order one and then they put this stuff on it. So I'm gonna see if I can do that. I hope I didn't cut this hole too big. Just a few more seconds. I'm gonna frost, Dan. Oh, got it. Sorry, I got no shame tonight, everybody in the chat. Clearly. Can we see? Yes. Hold on. Hold on. I think you are seeing now. Yeah, but like we're gonna come see. This is really hard because it's just like flopping. I like you, GoPro. It gets right in there for us. This is really awesome. I have a spinner. Um, you want me to grab the little spinner plate? Then I can put it on there? No, because we're already in. Oh, I'm totally just frosting the other ones. Hey, Dan, my mom was asking if you know how many pins I have. I said 175, but I, I can I change my you answer? You said 173. 73. I want to change my answer to 130, even though 117 seems the right answer. Oh, my gosh, I can see my chin. Can you guys see my chin? Oh, my gosh. I wish Jim Johnson was awake. <laughs> Why? My chin? Not a fan of having to do the, Oh. <laughs> not a fan of having to do it that way. Not Like, not even a little bit. Oh wait, I have. It's not cat food, but put your head back down. <laughs> my mind is in the gutter. Laughing so hard my nose is dripping. You're welcome. Yeah, but like, is it blood or is it fun snot? Cause like, how do you know? Alec, I'm just a little bit younger. I'll be 44 this year in August. Hannah says, I hate that sound. It is, like, definitely definitely loud in here when she is doing that. Oh, sorry. I was trying to get it, like, squishy. The commentary during frosting the cookies is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm screwing it all up. Uh, today it was fun. There's definitely a better way. Always the nights when you're tired or don't want to do a show or you had like a busy week where you just want to like unwind, you take it out on the show. <laughs> you're welcome. That's as good as that's getting. That's it. I'm squirting the rest of this into a Tupperware and we're just spooning it on. I'm not that, that uh uh. You guys have seen me. I do not like frosting cookies. I do not like frosting cakes. I do not like it, Sam. I am. I do not like spinning things around. Come on, finish it. You got, you got to finish that's it. That's all I got. Oh, you were close. Yeah, that's that's no fun to me at all. I applaud people who have the patience to decorate a cookie and a cake and layer cakes and all of that. Uh-uh. Nope. Uh, what flavor jam are you putting on them? It's raspberry jam? And it's dark looking, like dark raspberry looking. <laughs> All right, hold on, because I have to take a picture. For the gram! Are we at full brightness in here? Uh, on the lights? Yeah. No. Alexa, turn the kitchen lights to 100%. That shouldn't affect anybody unless you named your kitchen lights kitchen no, lights. They're all gonna, no, they're all going to be like, this does not compute. <laughs> There's no such thing. I can't find kitchen lights on this Alexa. Well, 
It's not pretty, but hopefully it'll taste good. But right now it's gonna be all warm, like warm cream cheese. <laughs> Green eggs and ham. <laughs> all right. There we go. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, look, you go first. Or do you want me to? Yeah, you go first. Oh my god. Oh, a huge bite. Wait, Amanda. Don't leave. <laughs> that is so good. I am loving the graham cracker cookie. We did one of these before. The key lime one that we ended up turning into s'mores because I didn't like the key lime filling. With the uh, graham cracker cookie. I love a graham Dude, cracker cookie. That was so good right there. I need another bite because <laughs> I was talking to Amanda. Um, I will tell you tomorrow how many I have. Okay, so you have to go count. Okay, okay, cool. So, on Dantix tomorrow, um, you let me know the answer. Uh, can now I pay, have a pay attention bite? Alec, I love you. He said... My kitchen lights are already at 100. My alias, they said so. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really a big fan of a graham cracker wow. cookie. Um, This isn't even that sweet. Dang, John Carl's, pa John Carl's passing fools. Get it. What place are you in now? Ro -ro 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 says my cookies are cool and it tastes great. Yeah, I can't wait to have it tomorrow with the frosting being cold. I want like the cold with the cookie. Warrior Cat says, can I move in for the goodies? Oh my god, there's already you would be sad at how much we throw away in this house. I threw away Dang. Probably half a dozen of those shortbread cookies. Um the week before that I threw away like a slice of zucchini bread. Right now there's two App, caramel apple cheesecake bars in there that have been in there since the 10th. Those those have to go. Ah. <laughs> I have to go bring a bite to Blake. Oh, that's fine. Hi, everybody. She's airplane biting Blake. Blake, okay, so I found out what Blake was doing what I was asking him a minute ago. Um, him and all his friends are like online school working. I don't know. He's like in like some crazy trigonometry thingy or something. It's crazy. But I saw math happening. It looked like when the numbers come up on the screen from that show. Hi, Dan. Yes. It's me. It's me, Dan, with my hair down. But you already knew that. Dan with the cream stuff on his chin. Oh, shoot. <laughs> there we go. I gave Blake a bite, and can you get that off your face? I, I gave Blake a bite, and he asked for a second bite, and he gave it four Blakes. Did he? Mm -hmm. Sure. Out of sight. Out of sight. Oh. Heather says, can you donate the extra to a kitchen or shelter? Oh, Here's the thing. We always have intentions we're going to eat it all, and we do almost eat everything. It's not like we have, like, a whole batch that goes bad. I always bring some to my mom. Yeah, um, we'll take it to work, and then, like, it goes to the, like, work table, and then poof. I don't just put it out there because a lot of the guys that I work with are really ungrateful, and I... <laughs> that was a bad thing to say, wasn't it? No, they, they don't appreciate it. Like, I don't want to give it to people who just, like, eat crap. Do you know that one of the guys I work with goes through three full-size bags of Doritos every single week? Because I oh. empty the trash. Every single week, there are three full-size no. Dorito bags in his trash no. can. Mm -mm. If you think Doritos we'll see you are that next good, week. No, he's not watching this, I assure you. Mm -hmm. I assure you. No, if, if you think three bags of Doritos is necessary in your diet, you are not going to appreciate these cookies, I assure you. Your tongue is probably burned from all the cool ranch and nacho cheese. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs> Stop it. No, I do share with uh, with people in my life. Um, Damn, the yeah, smudge is still there. We always think we're going to eat it all. We, we come close. And mail me some cookies. I'll pay for shipping. Most of the stuff does not uh, travel well. <laughs> like these, these would not travel. Emily says, I would eat some if I didn't have diabetes. Oh, yeah. Like, we are not a diabetes-friendly household. Like, if somebody came over and I was cooking for them, I would do the best I can. But 
I don't know how to make diabetes friendly things. How come we don't just leave it in the bag and put the bag in there? Because the bag has a hole at the end that I cut and it's just gonna goo out. Um, so I like how not sweet. And this also was. this is kind of fun. Dan, you're wiping the wrong side of your face. <laughs> um, did you Oh yeah, wait, they're not sweet. They're not like They're not overly they're not sweet. sweet. I could eat more of these. Blake said the uh, frosting dominates the flavor. Um the like, jelly was really good. The jelly balanced it out really well. Yeah, they're not overly sugary sweet. When we made these last time and we did the uh, key lime ones, but then we ended up using, <laughs> sorry, we ended up using marshmallow fluff and chocolate and turning them into s'mores ones. Those were super sweet because it was just marshmallow fluff straight. The marshmallow fluff mixed with the cream cheese and the powdered sugar makes an amazing flavor. I think Hannah's rolling her eyes at you. In fact, I know Hannah's rolling her eyes at you. But, I mean, would it be a Friday night if Hannah didn't roll her eyes at you? Hannah? Oh. For what? <laughs> you're not even listening. You're watching your... I know! You're I was... watching your date, aren't you, Dan? No, I was listening. Hi, Hannah. Yeah, she... she I read her text. She just... She went to a Four Loco. No, she and didn't. a little bit sleeping on her. And then the Dan, the we're Chiefs on to won. Shadow. I think she just said the Chiefs won. Oh, my God. The Chiefs won. Do you even know who Shadow is? Yeah. It's... It's the new, the new batch of corn she just grew. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, kind of like milk and a cow. Yeah, so I'm going to stick this in the fridge and hopefully not mix it up with my whipped cream cheese. And this will go on top of the cookies as we're ready to eat them. That way the cookies don't get soggy from the frosting, because I'm afraid that that will happen. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good, Hannah. That was a pretty good one. I like read your bio. Oh, damn. <laughs> I mean, you can't say he doesn't know anything about you. Yeah, you guys are my friends. What do you think after I'm done here, I hang out with like anybody else that's, <laughs> that you guys don't see on camera? <laughs> yeah, we keep him I, hanging out with John Carl, duh. I think, well, no, because he's live right now. I don't think there's anybody that I, hate, like, that, like, I hang out with that you guys don't know about or can't find access to watch like a fly on the wall. <laughs> Hannah says, I mean, you aren't wrong. I mean... We've been live streaming our races on Twitch. I have a racing Twitch channel now, so I can be a professional racer with all my free time. Barry Rose, a race car driver. Barry Rose, a fast. He never did win no checkered flag, but he never did come last. He's about to have hernia surgery, and his iRacing membership's gonna last. Aww. I bought three months, and then, like, I forgot I was about to go get cut up. Can I delay it a month? No. Just so my iRacing doesn't no. run out? Well, it's the same here. You're the only two we hang out with virtually. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we do. Is it? Uh, yeah. Um, can you click on the uh, oh, yeah, sure. other camera? Uh, April says, would no love to get to know y'all personally. You are. Like, right now, that's this, what's is, this like, is who we are. This is it. Like, we're not actors. Like, yeah. And if I'm not on the camera, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> we're, we're just, like, quieter. Yes. On here, like, we don't talk as much. Off there, like, recharging. Uh, Alex says, guys. just smell the contents to tell the difference. That's how I don't mix up food and drinks. Yeah. Um, Maybe I'll have to see. I'll check and I'll report back to whether they smell different. Because one is heavy cream, uh, uh, cream cheese, sugar, and a pinch of salt. It's all cream. And one is cream cheese, marshmallow fluff, and powdered sugar. Yeah, they should smell different. Um, over here, we have uh, Shannon sent some cars. One for Shannon. Uh, she sent a Tesla Cybertruck that she painted pink. I kind yeah, of freaking love it. Yeah, check it out? It looks better than the, uh, did you uh, see the one going around the internet that's all rusty? Is it? Uh -huh. Yeah, if they sit out in the rain, they get rusty. Oh, this has got a, you guys didn't gimmick this, did you? This has got a roll to it. I'm going to have to inspect what's going on. <laughs> I'm going to have to inspect what's going Disqualified. on. Disqualified. Lee, her <laughs> husband, has uh, the classic TV series Batmobile. Super cute. I love the little tiny cars like that. And Toby, you met Toby, yeah? Toby was there? You met Toby and Shannon? Was yes. Lee there too? Yes. Yeah, all three of them? Yes. And I don't know what this is. What does it say? Oh, this is old. This is from 1985. It's a double yes. Damon. Um, yeah, oh. so we gotta make sure that, like... It's got a dragon like I said, head on when, both when, sides. When we're done with Hot Wheels, whatever that is, like, whatever happens, there will be a chance to pay, like, what... It's, like, probably gonna be, like, five or six bucks. And then, like, we'll get a box, and you guys can have your Hot Wheels back... Um, and you guys can have your Hot Wheels back, especially some of these old ones, like Cyber Husky had, like, a old one. Speaking of that, like, aren't we supposed to, did you, we read her, 
Yeah, she's probably gone now. Did we read her text how she had like a good time at the pet show she was at? I think we're supposed to all like vote for her for something. Did that she come through yet? She said she will post about it when it happens. She was announcing I, it. Um, your date is texting you. I saw it on the story. So we will add those um, for the next Hot Wheel night. This, I think tomorrow is the last show of the month because Dan's going to be gone. Um, let me go over here and see. Yes, this is the last show. So next weekend... Dan is going to be gone in Toronto. Uh, when do I come back? Wednesday? I, yeah. I don't have that information. I'm not privy to that. We're stopping Hot Wheels? No, like, at, at the theoretical like, future you know, date. Like, a hundred years from now or whatever. Like, like the end of, like, all right, goodbye, everybody. That was great, and we did it in 30 years or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but, like, you have the option to have, like, some of your cars that have been around before you were bored or when you were younger. Right. Or, you know, you can have some of those back. Like I said, Cyber Hubbies is 1974. Scott says voting starts tomorrow for Cyber Huskies Pubs. Okay. Awesome. She did say okay. something about she would okay. be posting the link when it yeah. came up. So if she doesn't and I see her post it on her personal page, I'll tell her to, to post it we'll, in the group for everybody to help her out. We'll uh, pin it tomorrow on the Dantic show. Shannon says her kid Joey was there too and is going to buy one from Dan next live stream. You, you want to let Joey bring one? What happened? Was Joey in trouble? Was Joey grounded? You can't bring a Hot Wheel to Dan. Maybe I just have the <laughs> maybe I just have the cool Carvana hookup. <laughs> maybe for the for the things. I'll bring cool Hot Wheels. Uh, April says, "What spelling do you recommend for your name? Anything, literally anything. If you're talking about like you're gonna mail something, it doesn't matter. It'll come through anyway. The K is like, funner than the C. If you're gonna type it, I honestly don't care. Really, like I have used the K R I S T U L since like freshman year of high school, way back in like 1994." So that's just as familiar to me as spelling it like the word. So it really, it really does not matter. Um, so yes, Dan will be gone next week, and I think Easter is on Sunday of next week, right? Yes, Easter. Um, so then we will be back on the fifth, April fifth. We will have a show. April sixth, we will not have a show. We're gonna go see Kathy Griffin like live, do her stand-up comedy stuff. I'm super excited for that. I don't know if you are, but yeah, I am. Yeah, she's funny. We've seen her a few times. She's funny. Yes, yeah, she's great. So we will have a Friday show next week. So between now... Ooh, maybe we'll have a drink when we're there. Maybe like, maybe we'll, we'll have, all be like, ooh! <laughs> we... <gasps> we should paint me a... Th- no, we should a not. A must do it. No. Um, we may live stream at some point because it's down in Long Beach and I want to go down there and, like, do some things. Like oh, look at you all live streaming and stuff. I'm just saying. Oh, Brittany said, I'm glad I slept through the beginning of the show. Only 30 minutes left. Left? Only 30 minutes up before war. I, sorry, the stupid damn heart is over it and I can't read it. It looks like there might be a P there. Somebody else say something. Thank you. Only 30 minute nap before work. Oh, you're wait. You're glad you slept through the beginning of the show? Thanks. <laughs> oh, like the Sims, the minus sign. The, the minus sign's over her head. Our minus. friendship level just went down a minus. little bit. <laughs> She's just kidding, by the way. Hold on. Don't, don't knows. mess with Britney's anxiety. Britney knows. Don't mess with her anxiety. She's just kidding. Uh. Oh, uh, yeah, we can all live stream some of it or something. You know, yeah, I, I want to look and see, like, what we'll, we can do down there. Um, I don't know. I'll figure something out. But, yeah, so between now and, like, I don't know the 12th I guess we only have a show tomorrow and then on the 5th so tomorrow we'll be doing Dantics I have four all new categories 10 new questions in each of the four categories come see if you can uh, guess the answers I slept through my alarm oh what are you doing Brittany I'm disappointed in you you still have time though yeah don't be late to work they'll fire you they're all gonna fire you what do you doing? Oh, oh, Shannon says time. Joey couldn't find one he wanted in time. Okay, fair enough. And the one Toby sent is technically his. Technically Joey's? Like, Toby stole it from Joey? That's some sibling rivalry stuff. Um, If there's one that you like or a color or specific thing you like, message it to me, and I have, like, a box of them. Could we bring out, like, ten to show? Because I can't bring out it all... It gets out of control. ...hundred of them. Um, we will, I will say thanks to you guys and the support. We are whittling down Dan's addiction to Hot Wheel. You know, because check this out. So the Hot Wheels cost between a dollar thirty and two dollars plus driving around and this and that. Mm-hmm. We sell them for five dollars minus thirty percent for YouTube. We make like a dollar a Hot Wheel, which isn't the point at all. Even if we broke exactly even, like I already got all the rush of going and grabbing the fun Hot Wheels, and some of the Hot Wheels, like, gotta go. So <laughs> you guys have like kind of like got me my money back on the Hot Wheels, and we have a lot of fun with them. And the Hot Wheels still get to live here, but it's like they've been let out their cage. 
Right. So right. Right. I don't have to sit in a box right. anymore. So the Hot Wheels and then are you just, guys can be excited for the yeah. cars because otherwise they're just sitting. So in a they're box. just five dollars, and and then like it just goes back into the pot for like getting the Hot Wheel and stuff like that. And then Dan I buy will more buy Hot more Hot Wheels. I've been doing really well. This last trip, I didn't come back with any Hot Wheels that were foreign. Like, like these were all Hot Wheels that were given to me for the Hot Wheel. League. You did confirm, and one not. you found in the gutter apparently. I mean, the last time, the last trip, and the one I found in the gutter, uh, I'm still gonna put a lost sign up for it. See if I, can <laughs> I find hope it you do. Uh, April just email to Dan's. Like I don't use my. Yeah, it's rfsdan at gmail dot com. That's for like anything Last, we do here. <laughs> Chris was trying to make a new Gmail account for the Stream Smart stuff, and oh, what, <laughs> my, what happened? My with that? Uh, my Who's personal email is a Hotmail account that I made in nineteen ninety seven, and it's like right. the stupidest thing ever, and it's not professional at all. I should really right. get a better one. So when we were doing the Red Bull and Stream Smart stuff, um, I made one, which by the way, like my name is taken. Every incarnation of my name is taken on Gmail, so I had to like do some financial and I, I made it was my name but like it was spelled and spelled out and spelled yeah the whole thing um, it got banned it was uh, used inappropriately like I just, literally just like got emails name. from Stream Smart and from uh, the, the Red Bull and Vibrant Penguin like they banned my account so I don't know apparently I'm emailing wrong I, I don't know I didn't even send an email from it I no, just like received a yeah, handful of emails and that to. was it just mm -mm. apparently you can't use it professionally I don't know I tried to appeal it twice and they said eh -eh. <laughs> Not happening. Um, do you Matt's, remember the Juno email? <laughs> yeah, I do. Matt's Hobbies was hoping to see you in Toronto, but just found out he has to work. Boo! Oh. Quit your job. You can get another one. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Alex says you're lucky. Hot Wheels here run about 4 or $5 a piece. Oh, Ouch. no. I've gotten some 4 or $5 Hot Wheels over there. I was at the pop shop the other day that has all these pop things, and they have Hot Wheels there, too. They got some fun ones that I missed out on, but they're all... Five, six, seven, three, four, five dollars. So, no, there are some ones in there. I'm just about the average price. C uh, CVS got dollar ninety nine Hot Wheels. Mm -hmm. CVS but, is expensive. But four for five at the Albertsons. Brittany says all good. One coworker was two hours late before. Low bar. Oh, same friend. Mm -hmm. Oh, we started eight. Uh, one of the guys called at like ten on Thursday and said I might be a little late. You're already two hours late. And then he said it was going to be another 45 minutes, but it was actually two more hours. And then he showed up with, like, a Burger King bag and went and ate his He signed in and then went and ate his lunch and then sat in the bathroom for half an hour. So the bar is hella low at my job. Do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Zero consequences. Uh, Husky Mom Veronica also still has her Hotmail email and currently uses it. Had it at least 20 years now. Oh, same. Your mom Mine's had, literally from 1997. Your mom had AOL and then she got MSN. My mom does have an MSN email MSN. address. Why is this cookie so big? Because it's said to make them with a half a, a half a cup of the cookie dough, and then it made face-sized I mean, like, cookies. Are you trying to replicate the, what is really big cookie? This is more, the, it's a crumble cookie replica. I, I think we'll um, break these in chunks, but you this should. This is more the crumble cookie size. You should frost one of those big ones for your photo or something. That's insane. But otherwise, we'll just break them. Up. We'll just break them apart and dip them in the goo with the with the <laughs> with the stuff. A wild boy has appeared. Hey, there's like a salad in there. Mom was here and said she liked your haircut. She was or is? Was. I, I doubt she's here anymore. She's probably 30. she's probably dozing off on the couch like this. Oh, uh, hot meal buddies unite! <laughs> you um, you look like you have a couple of little red spots from where he got you with the razor. Like, like he didn't get me. Like, it's like no, I've but never... like you're sensitive to the razor. Yeah, yeah it looks good this though. He like more... he cleaned up a good line here. That razor did good. I like it. You look so handsome. Uh, I believe Ma said you were a handsome feller. <laughs> F e l l e r feller. I can hear it in her voice too. Blake out of his cave. He just came to get drinks. Like that's it. Food what, and water. What are you, hold in front of the camera. What, 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 what are you drinking? Here? Fizzy drinks. Fizzy lifting. Like drinks. this actually tastes like something. Unlike it's most sparkling water. Right. Like it's not sparkling water. It's, like, it's more like, flavor than fizz. Is this like discount sprite? Yeah, actually. Without it being all sticky and. And sticky. it's not sugary. Sprite isn't sticky. Yeah, sprite. this is like a. You know when you're sick and dad just like pours Sprite down your throat the whole time, and then like by day oh. three you're just like, I and can't you, have any more sugary Sprite. And then you so barfed so it in my shoe. <laughs> Do you remember, remember that? when you barfed <laughs> just Sprite like, on my like, shoe? I had everywhere to go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right in his shoe. shoe. Right in my shoe. The shoe is new. This is that's what happens. Whenever oh yeah. So Alex blind, so we have to describe to him. Blake got cleaned up. Nice. I really enjoy a hot shave at the barber. Was it hot? Was there like hot towels happening or no? You know? That's the only downside. There was no hot towel to like wipe. Like he didn't wipe me oh, down. Oh, like, you should like leave him a, a comment card and let him know like that would be better. Tell him Supercuts gives me a hot towel on the back of my neck. Dang. <laughs> um, I don't think yeah, it's worth the trade off. He, he got hit up with like he changed razors. Yeah, like 
like several times he was not like, like attachments on clippers, rrr, right? He, like he was he was like rotating Wait, different attachments rate. on clippers or like no. different style of cutting devices for each part of his face. Crazy. Yeah. Like he well, had one time he had a straight he, razor. He trimmed up your <laughs> he mustache did. so I can see like the top of your top lip now. He did it with the razor. That, that, that stuff he was doing with the razor. I like that. That looks really good and clean. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. He, How come he, you have more mustache here than here? Because his head's like you have none head. between the corner of your mouth and your beard on yeah, one huh. side and you have a bunch between you should shave that little patch because that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> like it connects on one side and not on the other. <laughs> uh, here in Michigan, we use burners for that instead of Sprite. I'm not the biggest fan of, uh, well, wait, is this burners almost only make ginger ale or do they have flavored things? They have different flavors of ginger ale, but I don't know that I've seen anything with burners that wasn't ginger ale. Okay. But when I was younger, like, like black cherry, as a teenager, I ale. loved ginger. I've lost a taste for it. I, I um, can't. It's really good. When, when I'm out at Jess's house, um, when sometimes like, when we're in the like not twelve pack store, like uh, where I can get like a bottle out of a thing, like a Seven right. Eleven, I'll grab one out of there. It's really good. One the, says it's just ginger ale, but they, is it like flavored? Like do they come in like cherry or strawberry mm-hmm. or grape or something? Oh okay, yeah. So there's like um, the last time it was black cherry, it was like the twelve pack. It was like black cherry ginger, the ginger ale burners. Gotcha. Yes. Uh, Alex says, no way, I get the full experience. My barber uses a straight razor and a hot, damp towel, massage, and moisturizer. Ooh, like a face massage on, on your chin and stuff. Um, this was the first time. So we have a barber out here that Blake went to, and um, it looks like it should have a really good vibe, but they were, like, super pretentious and rude. So we went once, and Blake was just like, mm I don't like that place. So we made him go find uh, another barber, and there's apparently a lot of them out here. When I yelped it, there, there was, was a ton. There was a lot of barbers, a lot of, like, different fun things carved into people's heads. Yes, the, like yes. very clearly talented at men's haircuts. So I told the boys, like, look and find somebody uh, where their Yelp reviews are like primarily men's haircuts and go there. And, I and did, and I found it. It had a lot of reviews, and I was looking at the inside of the place and the people, and I'm like, this looks fun. Yeah. They were fun. You guys there. had a good experience. We had a good experience. It, it was, was not as cheap as Supercuts, which is still not cheap, but I think worth it for the experience and for them to like talk to Blake about what he wanted. They asked, like, what shape he wanted his beard cut and stuff. And he didn't know, so they just, no, like, he has no like idea. yeah, so. They did really good. The only thing I would say is, like, his beard needs to come in a little bit more on his cheeks. It still puffs out a little, which makes his head look, like, fatter at the bottom. Um, but but they he looks good. Fixed, yeah. His girlfriend was really happy, although she had the same comment that I did about it needs to come in a little more on the cheeks. So, I like her. I've only met her the one time, but we're, we're like, on the same page on a lot of things. Are we hanging out soon with, with Blake and his girlfriend? They've been dating for a couple years now. Uh, he says officially only, like, one year and some uh, change. Yeah, but, like, but they've been hanging out they, for a long time. They've been together for a minute. Uh, Alec goes to an old-fashioned barber that's, like, 85 years old. I would be scared to have an 85-year-old man with a straight razor. Yep. I'm not going to lie. Yep. My boss is 83. I'll be 84 this year. And he, like, loses things constantly and can't remember things. And that's a little scary. Well, then. I'm done. I need to eat, Dan. I'm fading. Good job. I had like two Fig Newtons. By the way, I've been eating the Walgreens brand Newtons because they're only like $1.29 for a package. And today I found real Fig Newtons at my mom's desk and I was like, ooh, she said I could have some. I'm going to eat these. They weren't good anymore. No? I like the Did you? I like the Walgreens ones better. <laughs> yeah. So I had, I had two Fig Newtons and a handful of pretzels and like three bites of that cookie and a pupusa. So I, I need food. What's for what's, it, what's for dinner, Crystal? What's what's for dinner? Enchiladas and beans and rice. Enchiladas that were really good. They were. Dan's already Crystal, asked me to make more this weekend. Crystal just made some enchiladas. Here, I'll show you. Is there beans? Did you eat all the beans? Uh, I don't know. It would have been Blake, but no, because Blake don't eat beans, and no, there is beans. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm fading. He's got his faculties about him. Steady hands too. He's a proper gentleman. I love it. I really do love that. That's great. Did you? Could you stop playing with my food? What? I was I was showing him the ladas. I was showing the ladas. They saw him. We made them on camera. Did oh we did. We oh did. that's right. Dude, like, see what I mean? I don't know what. Like, it's almost <laughs> it's just all on camera. Uh, all these strawberry <coughs> newtons are really good. Um. I love the taste of fig. Like, Newtons are all right in general. Yeah, that jelly. I love the taste of fig. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite flavors. Uh, Hannah is also fading. Been up since 6.30. All right, all right. We're we're done holding you hostage then. (laughs) Doofus Dan. (laughs) Oh, yeah. That's been a bit. All right, guys. Thank you again for hanging out. Again, we will be live at 4 p.m. Pacific. Tomorrow, playing some Dantics. It's going to be a lot of fun, so show up. Set your reminders now. Go tell Alexa. Remind me at... 4 p.m. Pacific tomorrow to watch Dantix.
Did that work? That's how it is these days? <laughs> yeah, why not? Use the power of the internet. 72 people. If you have an Alexa, she's going to remind you at 4 p.m. Pacific. Does she make the time change adjustment? Can she do it? Crystal, are, when, as soon as I hit stop, are you going to fall to the ground like Woody when, like, they, when Andy walks in? <laughs> um, I'm going to run to the little streamer's room, and then I'm going to come make food. Speaking of that really quick, there's this robot that Blake... <laughs> Wait, did you I take a picture. I did take a picture. Hold so on. I came home on so Wednesday. Yeah, Blake three D printed this robot. Like I don't know, probably almost a year ago now. He three D printed this thing. Look, it says Dan on the bottom of it. Like Andy, it says Dan. Uh, oh, so Alec, she, it's a it's a three D printed robot in two different shades of blue, like stripy, but like thick gradient stripes in the same proportions of woody from toy story the way i'm holding them it's it's big like like a woody doll like probably at least a foot tall and it's got like joints that move and it's like knees and hips and elbows and shoulders and stuff and it's i saw it on the internet and i sent a picture to blake and i was like oh my god i need this and he printed me like a foot tall one so he can like sit down like a, a little doll would um he's almost a blockhead like out of gumby yes yes sort of um, so it was yesterday. I came home and I opened the refrigerator to find Alec. I'll describe it. Hold on. L let's everybody react to the photo I first. About this. Yeah. To find this, he put the robot on the top shelf of the fridge with its arm through the handle of the milk. Because yeah, Canadians, ours comes with a handle, um, not in a bag. And um, we have we have um, male genitalia that pops onto our light switches that are 3D printed, and he put one in its hand, like, aiming outward. Like a spear. Yes. Like he was gonna throw it at you. And uh, that's what I saw when I opened this the fridge. This is what happened when you opened the fridge. <laughs> yep, that's Blake for you. Also, did I tell you guys the story about how he replaced some of my um, cat figurines with 3D printed ones, and I didn't realize for who knows how long? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Got milk, right? Yeah, so that that's the kind of uh, what's the, what's the Blake version of Dantics? That's the Blake Blake antics that happen yeah. around here. He likes to to mess with us. Um, yeah, he stole your little mushrooms that uh, came from. Did Greg and Jamie paint those? Yeah. He stole those and replaced them with three D printed ones. He stole my cats and replaced them with three D printed they, they ones. They came out so good. They did. They oh, so yeah. Good. Because so he has this little scanner that can scan a three dimensional object and then turn it into a three D printed object. Like it'll print it on his three D printer. Are you grabbing one of each? I'll grab. Oh, yeah. I'll only grab one example of your cats. Okay. Here's your cats. So what? it's. I have this little like wooden shelf that has these little simple wooden. They look like they're some sort of like Scandinavian. Avian. Something. Sorry, GoPro. <laughs> it should last. <laughs> uh, it looks like you'd get it in like Sweden or Germany or something. I don't know. And he, so he stole these and he replaced them with 3D printed ones that aren't painted. But I didn't notice at all for a while. For a while, it's <laughs> for a good long time. I made a little video of it. It hasn't. It's it's on my phone. I made a video of like him doing it. And Did then, you? Or just replacing them and then you like see them like a month later. The problem is where he did it is not like I don't I sit I sit on the couch where that's to my right so I don't see it and then one day I sat where it was directly in front of me and was like hey why are my cats backwards and then realized that uh they weren't backwards they were replaced the the mushroom wait uh hide your head there you go the mushroom <laughs> is the painted mushroom and then he 3d printed he like it's like two color too he like 3D printed <laughs> the other mushroom come on it's still blurry yeah, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of 3D printed mushrooms over here. Yeah, so that that's Blake's pranks he pulls on us. Uh All right, Dan, I'm fading. Okay, okay. That's okay. it. That was our last funny well, thing. I gotta put this back and not set it on my desk, and then we'll wrap it up right here. So see you tomorrow. Thank you, everybody. That was a lot of fun, Crystal. Yeah, thank you guys for hanging out for um. It's 9:40. Oh my god, did we really just do this for like three and a half hours? Yeah. Oh, uh, Alex says I need to live closer. We'd have fun. Come to California, bro. What's wait? Do you have an electric wheelchair? Does he have an electric wheelchair? Yeah. What's the battery life like? Can you I just mean, like Tesla stations hop on the from, shoulder of the freeway? And yeah, there's there's Tesla stations they go all here way at the across, airport. Right? Yeah. Uh, all right. All bye right. guys. Bye everybody. We'll see you tomorrow for Dantics. Have a good night. Bye.